चैलेंज is the decision passed by the authority on 2007 p8 annex last annex page 54 yes now i will মনে ফোন নাম্বার নাই না আর শুনতে পারলাম ওই রাহুল তো আছে রাহুল তো ওর নাম একটাই তো আছে মনে হয়
তোমাকে ফোন করে সমস্ত ফোন নম্বর থাকে বলতে বলো মামলা চলছে Hmm. Also got it. Now what has happened, my lord? The in a regular selection process, I was appointed as an assistant teacher on that school. The panel was prepared and it was duly approved. Page 34, and excerpt P1, if your lord says kindly have a look. Page 37. The appointment of the uh, subject, approval of the panel of the candidate thereof. The panel for the following candidates for the appointment of assistant teacher under language and literature group in additional post sanctioned by this office number such and such submitted with the letter under reference is hereby approved. Motion Gayur first, second the Lokmar Ali, third is Mojibur Rahman. The managing committee may issue the appointment letter to the candidates whose petition in the panel is first. If the first candidate fails to join, the second candidates may be approved. And on the papers for approval of the appointment of the teaching together with the managing committee, administrator result appointing the teacher approving the appointment should be submitted to this office due course. This approval was accorded on 11th March 1991. And now your Lord says kindly, second page, in terms of this approval accorded by the district inspector schools, the, the appointment letter was given No, this is not been the, the, the appointment letter was given in the additional post and that Part addition... from you are reading page? Yes, Mara? Part from you are reading page? Page, uh, this is page 39. Page 39. Hmm. Approval of the appointment. You got it? Page 39. Uh, yes. A motion Gayu BA with the assistant teacher under language and literature group in additional post sanction under TO number such and such on 22nd 3rd 1990 to 1992. This is the additional post. Temporary uh, basis two years. Two, Malad, each and every uh, additional post it is for a two years. Thereafter Malad, it is being written on the basis of the school's requisitions of others. Now, my lord, this is the additional post. They have taken the plea. The post in question was in the leave vacancy. My lord, the leave vacancy... Page 38, page down to page 38. 38 is the, in the capacity of the organizing staffs. My lord, it is long before, in 1990. You are here, but... Then, yes. You were appointed in 1990. No, the I organizing teachers... Organizing teachers' approval was give, not given to me. Other staffs are given. To show my regular recruitment process after additional post creation by, created by the authority, my the regular recruitment process was followed. Now, recruitment process was followed. The panel was prepared. Names were sponsored by the Employment Exchange. And that is the first annexers. 
Fire Medal, the panel was prepared in the year of 1991. It is the appointment letter of 88, 1990. I'm not on that today because I have got my appointment through regular recruitment process. Now the approval for the post of 1992. Now I let the Next page, page 40. The Anderson has to state that the appointment of the motion guy would be assistant teacher under the language literature normal vacancy is hereby approved as admissible under rules for one year from 1992 to 1993 on usual terms and conditions. Now, my lord, the, this was the additional post, and thereafter, your lord says kindly, next page. Page 41. In connection with the above, the understand has to state that the motion guru is appointed to the assistant teacher in a leave vacancy. Why are he getting the information that I was appointed in a leave vacancy? Now, for two years, with effect from such and such in place of Sri Fireja Alum, who after appointed as a headmaster and Sri Mohishan Gowar has allowed to continue the service in the same post and his service was further approved for one year more, 1992-93. Sri Mohishan Gowar was allowed to continue his service as an assistant teacher in irregular when the post was vacant due to joining of Sri Firoz Alam Said as a headmaster. He is instructed not to issue the approval of the service beyond 21st, 3rd, 1993. In the vacant post, Sri Firoz Alam Said may be filled up as per existing recruitment rule. Now, your Lord says kindly, this order was challenged by my by the writ petitioners and by an order dated 19-3-2002, page 50, was, it was set aside. Page 50, your Lord says got it? Hmm. Page 50, yes. 50. The case of the petition in a brief is that he was appointed in the post of assistant teacher in language and literature group. And the statutory authority also accorded necessary approval following the recruitment rules. The further case was the petition is that he was continued to the said post until further order by the director dated 99 contained in memo number such and such, whereby where we should not to approve the service of the petitioner in the vacant post and further uh, directing the same to be filled up as per existing rules. The aforesaid memo of the director has been questioned in the instant read petition and interim order was also passed by this court. As already noticed, Supra, the contention of the petitioner is that he was appointed in the post following the recruitment rules and the petitioner has served the since his appointment from 1990, approval of the appointment on 21st March 1990. This is in 2002, mm -hmm. one of the order passed in 2002. It is not known as to what basis whereupon the Deputy Director of Education considered the said post to which the petitioner has been appointed as a league vacancy for two years. It is also not known as the how vacancy has been treated as a leave vacancy when the order of the DI of the school approving the panel on 20th March 1990 states the appointment is in the additional post sanctioned by the official memo number such and such. When an additional post has been sanctioned, the question of leave vacancy may not arise. This is a very important observation. As none has appeared on behalf of the state nor if even opposition on their behalf has been filed, this court is of the view that the impugn order being an accelerate that is bearing number such a cannot be sustained it is accordingly set aside with a consequential direction upon the director of school education to afford an opportunity of hearing of the petitioner before passing any order affecting the service of the petitioner. This is for the reason that the petitioner has been serving the post and any other order which may be the effect for either terminating a service or filling up the post in question by some other candidate would have civil consequences and the petitioner cannot be denied the principle of natural justice before any order adverse of his interest is passed. No such can. Action having been taken in the instant case, or the petitioner has not afforded an opportunity of hearing, the, the, uh, the impugned order is liable to be set aside. In the result, the rate petition is allowed, part setting aside the impugned order. Contain dated contain in memo number such and such. Liberty is granted to the director of school education if so considered appropriate by him to initiate a such proceeding. Uh, proceeding against the petitioner as may be open to him in law and in compliance with the principle of natural justice until such proceedings are taken, the service of the petitioners cannot be interfered with and sell accordingly, continue with so directed. Now, your Lord says, my Lord, in terms of this order, the court only 
liberty was given court did not say that that uh, he will proceed no vote. liberty was given to the director now this is the subject matter of the challenge page 54 in pursuance of the solemn order dated honorable justice mh has actually passed on 193 the hearing is taken up today on 28 11 2006 the camel advocate petition is present Torun Ghosh, learned advocate for the respondent of five, the secretary managing committee, Sujapur High School, is also present. Learned advocate for the petition has submitted the petition was appointed against a normal vacancy created due to sanction of an additional post by memo number dated such and such. The appointment was made after taking interview, making a panel following the recruitment rule amongst the sponsored candidates of the employment exchange. His approval appointment was made initially for a two years with effect from 22nd March 1992-92 by the district inspector school was Dinajpur under memo number such and such. Thereafter, a further period of one year with effect from 22 to 1993, the approval of the appointment of the petition was extended by the district inspector school by memo number such and such. But no permanent approval was issued by the district inspector schools, though the petition is continuing his service as assistant teacher. But when the discussion was going on, how it is possible to work in a sanctioned approved post getting usual salary without having any permanent approval, it appears that Sir Firoj Said, an approved assistant teacher, went on leave for two years, possibly for further studies, when they joined the school after expiry of the leave. The instant petition who was appointed in the said leave vacancy was allowed to continue by the school authority as soon as Firoj Said appointed as a headmaster of the school. The post of assistant teacher in which Sir Firoj Said was approved now become vacant and the petitioner was again allowed by the school authority legally to continue the said vacant post for Firoj side. Since the instant petitioner was continuing in the service as assistant teacher, the headmaster of the school wrote a letter to the district inspector school praying for permanent approval of the read petitioner on 4 11 93 against the post of teacher in charge, who finally appointed as the headmaster of the school after acquiring appropriate qualification of the headmaster. The district inspector school, when asked for approval of the appointment of the petition as an assistant teacher in language and literature group in the high school, to the on a permanent basis with effect on 22 3 93 against the normal vacancy of the school to this office of the director of school education. Under this memo number such and such, the office of the director of school education is the office memo number such and such. The district inspector school not to issue the approval, uh, not to issue the approval of the appointment beyond 23 93 in the vacant post. Sri Firoj Alam Said and the vacant post of Firoj Alam Said should be filled up as per existing recruitment rule since the petitioner was appointed in the leave vacancy for two years. The district inspector school forwarded the copy of the director of school education being memo number such and such the secretary Sujapur High School for his information through his memo number. The petitioner as soon as came to know the prayer for permanent approval in the vacant post was denied. He moved the petitions on August 1994 WP number 9. The Honorable Court was pleased to pass an entry order to that effect that since the petitioner served this school in question, the payment of the salary to the petitioner may be made subject to the condition that the petitioner shall give an undertaking writing before the district inspector school to the put to the effect that in the event it petition not succeed, the petitioner shall refund the salary drawn by him and the matter should appear again two weeks after the case must be alleged. As a result, the entry order passed by the Honorable Justice MHS answer, the district inspector school was compelled to continue his remuneration. The read petition was finally disposed of by His Lordship the Honorable Justice MHS Sansari when His Lordship was pleased to set aside the order of the Director of School Education as communicated by the District Inspector Schools in his memo number such and such. was also pleased to direct the liberty to, uh, is granted to the Director of School Education if so considered appropriate by him to initiate a such proceeding. Against the petition as may be open to him in law. In compliance with the principle of natural justice until such proceedings are taken, the service of the petitioner cannot be interfered with and shall accordingly continue. So the petitioner is still continuing the service till date and getting the salary. Now the learning advocate says that since the petitioner is continuing in service more than 14 years, as per management rule 27-7, where it is stated if the person serves at a stretch for more than two years in sanctioned vacant post, he should be automatically permanent. The service of his petitioner should be regularized by the director of school education. Had the submission made by the respective parties considered the petitioner prayer and facts as such the case, also peruse the relevant records papers as placed before me. It appears from the relevant records. On account of granting a study leave, the managing committee should jump high school in favor of the teacher in charge, Firoj Alam Sai. The service of the petitioner having qualification BO was approved by assistant teacher against the said leave vacancy for two years for a period of uh, 22nd March 1992-92 by the district inspector school in the office memo number such and such. Against the post sanction on a temporary basis under the district inspector schools under the office memo number such and such. After completion of the higher studies, Hiroj Alam Said, former teacher in charge, was absorbed in the headmaster of the school by the managing company of the school. 
the headmaster, the service of the petition was further approved by one year move on 22nd, 1992 to 1993 by the additional district inspector who said 11 vacancy, the result of vacancy in his office member number. After completion of the said period, 1992 to 1993, the petitioner was allowed to continue service as the assistant teacher. Irregular way by the school authority when the post was vacant and due to ignoring the, due to joining of the said Firoj Alongsai as the headmaster. The petitioner was appointed as a teaching staff in a short-term vacancy through a recruitment process. In terms of the notification communicated para 2 of the director memo number such and such 87, which was completely different form of the regular post of teaching staff, as he has claimed under para 1, 2B, or 2A and 2B of the said notification. As the petitioner discharged his service as an assistant teacher on lien vacancy only for a certain period, so the question of praying for regularization of the service of the petitioner on permanent basis on the same post does not arise at all as per existing recruitment rules at the material point of time. Therefore, there was no existence and the petition has approved as a teacher in the school question beyond 23, 1993 in the year, high of law. So the salary, so the salary and allowances drawn by the petitioner from 23, 93 till date from the government exchequer are illegal and high of law. The district inspector school to them will stop the salary of the petitioner from the date. He will also take appropriate steps to recover the entire amount drawn by the petitioner beyond 93. The school authority will fill up the post in terms of the school service commission at 1997. Well, two questions are coming. One, whether the post was in leave vacancy. Second, if he is allowed to continue against the permanent sanction post, whether the director of school education can pass an order for termination of the service. Now, this order was challenged on my lord 22nd February 2007. Your lordship kindly have a look to the order passed by the bench. Stay in this order. On 22nd February 2007, must be in the file. Yes. The petition of file this read petition challenging the order dated Feb February 6, 2000, passed the response number two, directing the response number four to stop the salary of the petitioner as also to take appropriate steps to recover the entire amount drawn by the petitioner beyond March 2019 in connection with the service of the assistant teacher. Sujapur High School for Sujapur District Uttar Dinajpur. By virtue of the aforesaid order, the school authority also directed to fill up the post in question in terms of the School Service Commission Act 1997. It appears from the record that the petitioner was appointed in the aforesaid post as additional post, sanctioned by the authority after approval of such appointment by the petition number four, as per each communication date in March 20, 1990. Subsequently, the response number four, as per each communication dated July 16, 1990, approved such appointment again. As per the communication date in March 3rd, 1992, his appointment was approved for a further period of one year. Subsequently, by a communication date in 8 July 1994, issued by the response number 3, dated the appointment of the petition against the leave vacancy. It was also under challenge, a read petition being number such and such, which was disposed of March 9, 2002, setting aside the aforesaid order July 8, 1994, by the past response number 3. As also giving liberty to the respondent number two to initiate a proceeding against the petition in accordance with law and in compliance with the principle of natural justice. It further appears from the record that the petitioner do pass the impure order only affording an opportunity hearing to the petitioner. According to the petition, the procedure in accordance with law has not been followed in passing the impure order. The authority by the passing the impure order has violated the fundamental right of the petition. In view of the above, this matter cannot be decided without giving a liberty to file affidavits. Later, Opposition's reply, liberty to mention, in view of the aforesaid facts and circumstances, I find there is a strong prima facie case has been made out considering the balance and convenience in conference to pass an interim order in favor of the petition. <laughs> the operation of the impugn order, February 6, 2007, being answered P8 of the petition, be stayed until further order. Let the status quo with regard to the service of the petitioner in question maintained until further order. However, the payment and salary of other benefits of the petitioner during the pendency of the written application will be subject to the result of the return. Now it is it has come for final. Okay. The question, my lord, the if the post is additional and I was allowed to continue not by virtue of the interim order, but the district inspector schools allowed to continue the said post when recruitment, regular recruitment rule was followed. Now, my lord, this after this interim order, during the pendency of the read applications. I retired from the service on 31st May 2018. 
थर्टी फर्स्ट मे टू थाउजेंड एप्लीकेशन फाइल कर Initially, you were appointed for two years. Yes. Thereafter, your such appointment was approved. Approved for further one, one year. year. For one year. For further one year. Thereafter, my dear, prayer. Thereafter, prayer for permanent approval was pending before the DI. I was allowed to continue. All on a sudden, the my dear, the authority. All on a sudden, the I tell you, Lord Sips, that the. Yes, the year of 1994, they directed to stop the salary, and not to. That was challenge that was set aside. The There, the DI said that you are you are appointed in a leave vacancy. Mala, from where they getting the <laughs> appointed in the leave vacancy? Because my name was in a leave vacancy. The name was never sponsored by the employment exchange. The leave vacancy means mala the temporary vacancy. From where is getting? Because when the approval of the panel was given, it has been categorically mentioned the additional post. Page thirty-four, my P one. If your lordship kindly takes trouble. Now you have retired. Now I have retired. I received the salary. I have retired. You have received salary. Salary for... till 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 date of retirement. On my lord thirty-first May two thousand eighteen. Salary on the basis of the intim order passed in yes yes. Uh, whatever salary I was enjoying, that was directed directed to be continuous. Status quo was there. Regular salary. Regular salary and when you have retired? Yes, ma'am. When you have retired? I retired on thirty first May two thousand eighteen. Six years gone. Not a single farthing has been paid during the pendency of the writ petition. Now, my lord, two fold submission I am making before lordships. One, I have the authority. Even it is a leave vacancy. For my submission, it is not a leave vacancy. Even it is a leave vacancy. The division bench of our court might have collected one copy of the judgment that the when the following recruitment rule, anybody is appointed, and subsequently this post in question become permanent vacant, he will be absorbed from that post. Five minutes. This is the copy of the division bench. Plain copy was given. A type copy. <coughs> MA number was there, one seventy three of ninety six. In this case, there was a leave vacancy, and in the said leave vacancy, the appellant petitioner was appointed by the following the procedure of the recruitment rule. She applied for the post of the uh, post along with the other in terms of the advertisement newspaper as well such and such name was. Uh, name was sponsored by the employment exchange with others. An interview was held, and in the said interview, the appellant was selected. And on the basis of that panel, as approved by the district inspector schools, ultimately the school authority appointed her, and the appointment was also duly approved by the district inspector schools. Initially, for two two five ninety five to uh, fourteen to ninety five, and thereafter from fifteen to ninety five to ninety six, in place of Abha Sarkar, in nineteen ninety, Abha Sarkar resigned from the said post. Outside the said post fell vacant. It is a well-settled principle of law, principle by the Supreme Court, that if the initial appointment was not made following the recruitment rules and recruitment procedure, in that event the regularization of the appointment doesn't arise. Accordingly, there cannot be any fresh selection on the resignation of the Abha Sarkar. The appellant petitioner has been working in the said post from 2nd May 1995 to 14 December 1996 in the said leave vacancy of the Abha Sarkar. That when there is a permanent vacancy. The question of fresh selection in the said post does not arise. The prescribed recruitment rules and the recruitment rules process gives a right of the regularization in the said post in which is what. Accordingly, the authorities' concerns are directed to regularize the appointment and in the post which is held. In the absence of circumstances, the application for a stay and the appeal be treated dead list and disposed of. Relying this division bench judgment, my lord, the single bench uh, order is also 
in other read petitions. The petitioner having qualifications and the single bench order, B. Ed. is eligible for appointment in the post of assistant teacher in physics in the concerned school. The petitioner was appointed as assistant teacher in physical science in Lyon vacancy in the concerned school by the West Bengal School Service Commission, West Region, following the recruitment procedure. Such a appointment of the petitioner was approved till. Uh, well, uh, yes. However, the said teacher could not turn back and the resign from the said post. Accordingly, the said post become permanently vacant from 2 11 to such. And the South Carson, the division bench of this court was pleased to pass an order on 3397 in disposing of the MA number, directing the authorities uh, concerned to grant approval and regularize the service of the appellant petitioner in the post which he is holding. I do not think there is any cause of deviation from the order already passed by the Honorable Division Bench in this court, or however having binding effect. I dispose of the writ petition by directing the district inspector school, Bankura, is to approve the appointment of the petition as an assistant teacher in physical education concerned school. There is approval until without two, within two weeks from the date of convocation of this order. District inspector school, Bankura, is directed to give such approval with effect from 1-11-99 may area salary and November within two weeks thereafter. This is even Leon vacancy, but, but my case is one of, it is not a Leon vacancy. It is the additional post. And my lord, if in a vacant sanction post, I have been allowed to work and I have been working there, overcome the right of the It is just okay. But at the, yeah. in other cases, the Supreme Court uh, reported in 2015-8, Supreme Court cases 265. If a lot says kindly, para 12. Yes. Ah, yes. Applying the ratio of the three cases through this court in Nihal Singh, state of Punjab, directed the absorption of the special police officer in the service of the state Punjab holding. Yeah, therefore, it is clear that the existing existence of the need to creation of the post is relevant factor with reference to which the executive government is required to take a rational decision based on relevant consideration. In our opinion, when the facts of the such cases once obtaining the instant case demonstrate that there is a need for the creation of the post, the failure of the executive government to apply his mind and take a decision to create a post and stop extracting work from the person which was the appellant hearing for decades together itself would be arbitrary action on the part of the state. The other factor which the state is required to keep in mind while creating and abolishing the post in the financial implication involvement such a decision, the creation of the post necessarily means additional financial burden on the exchequer of the state. Depending upon the priorities of the state, the allocation of the finance, it is no doubt exclusively within the domain of the legislature. However, the instant case creation of the new post would not create any additional financial burden to the state. As various blanks and the host, the disposal of the service of the each appellant is made available to have agreed to get the burden. If absorbing the appellants into the service of the state and providing benefits at a par with the police officer, similar than employed by the state, result in further financial commitment, it is always open for the state demand on the banks to meet the additional burden. Apparently, no such demand has, however, been made by the state. The result is that various banks which are available, uh, avail the service of these appellants enjoy the supply of the cheap labor over decades. It is also pertinent to notice that these banks are public banks. In our view, the exception carved out in 53 Uma Devi is applicable to the facts of the present case. There is no material placed on record by the respondent. The appellant has been lacking the qualification or before any blemish record during the employment over two decades. It is pertinent to note that the service of the similarly situated person delivers a regularization on such and such. The appellant, although initially working against the unsanctioned post, the appellant was working continuously since 3 1 2000 against the sanctioned post. Since there is no material placed on record regarding the details, whether in other night guard was appointed against the sanction post in the facts on the case of the case, we are inclined to award monetary benefit to the paid from 1-1-2-3. Once in the facts and certain of the case, the appellant has served university for more than 29 years on the post of the night guard that has been served the college on daily wages in the interest of justice, the authority directly to regularize the service of the appellant retrospectively with the from 3 one The so Mallard here the appointment was made in the year of 1991. I have been working there. In 2018, I retired from the service. 
Firstly, this is not alien vacancy. If it is assuming not admitting, then my lord, the division bench judgment is on the point. And my lord, the continuous service till retirement from since 1991 till date. Now on that... 1990. Is... 1990, uh, that means, my lord, 1990, I retired in 2018. Uh, 10, uh, 18, uh, 28 years. 28 years service. After ending my 20, it is the additional post. The post was required. The duty was taken by me, uh, was taken by the school authority. I discharged my duty. There is no blame. The money, money towards uh, uh, provident fund or any, any that, like that, will that was you. detected. Are you yes, sure? yes, yes, everything, everything, everything. You saw any piercing? That today I do not have. If a lot say required, I can, I can. Is it regular salary, regular thing? Regular but, salary. Regular salary, money deduction, PF deduction, everything. That I cannot understand you. your claim. Increment. Now you are claiming retirement. Retirement. And pension. Pension. Uh, whether that amount was deducted from your salary or not? The PF amount. PF amount. Well, that I, so far, my knowledge is concerned. It has been deducted. If your Lord says requires, I can take him. Uh, Documentary evidence before your lordship, so I can place that, sir. Yes, yeah, that would be better for you. No problem. In the meantime, you also ask the uh, two questions whether the vacancy you are appointed against a leave vacancy, yes, or, a, or additional, a, additional, post. Post. additional post. that is that the question will give answer to you. And regarding retirement benefit, whether any money was deducted uh, towards provident fund Probably. account uh, in provident fund that account. Or uh, that two questions will give answer to all the. Uh, right. In the meantime, you, you, you give a notice to Sumo. Yes. Yes. As a hard mister. Uh, Monday. You will also keep it on Monday. I am trying to. Monday would be. I am. I am trying. Monday will be. Yes. 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 I believe I will. Only that documents your Lord system. My submissions. That document. Uh, only that document. Okay. I I will I will bring and that. There is no answer whether the vacancy or additional post. Well, that is my submission, it is the additional vacancy. Even for argument's sake, if it is the vacancy. Then my lord, the, this in whose post I have been appointed. Subsequently, he was appointed as the headmaster. Post in question become vacant. To so, show in view of the judgment of the division bench, single bench, I'm entitled to have that benefit. And 2007 till date. I was allowed to enjoy the interim order. No steps have been taken by the state authorities for either vacation or to challenge. Yeah, the, to challenge. Uh, they accepted. That, that will go in your favor. That yeah. will go in your favor. Mr. Hart, Mr. Bari, Lanet Advocate, appearing for the petitioner at length. Now, state is unrepresented. Uh, as, uh, yeah. Epicenter of this uh, dispute lies in two questions as to whether the petitioner was appointed against a leave vacancy or against an additional post. Because, uh, and whether any money towards provident fund was deducted from his salary or not. To get answer to this query, this court felt uh, necessity of presence of the repentity of the state. Accordingly, notice was also given to the uh, to the learned advocate who entered appearance on behalf of However, to enable to assist the court in giving answer to the aforesaid queries, Mr. Bari is directed to produce the pay slip of the petitioner and other documents, if available to the petitioner, on the next date of the on the returnability. Because as a body, as a petitioner is also directed to serve a, a notice upon uh, upon the learned advocate who entered appearance on behalf of the state, indicating therein that the matter shall be taken up for final hearing. On twenty third, twenty third, what is it? Tuesday, some problem will be there. Other courts, other courts, the appellate matter is taken up. 
তো সোমালের লিলকে মানডে ইট উইল বি বেটার মানডে 48 ওয়ার্কিং ডেজ উইল নট নো নাথিং দে আর ইন টাচ দে আর ইট ইজ নট দা ফার্স্ট টাইম 48 আওয়ার্স রিকোয়ার হোয়েন দা ফার্স্ট টাইম সি রিপিটেশন ইন দা ম্যাটার উইল বি ঠিক আছে 22 মানডে গেট ইউ অনলি টু কোশ্চেন ইয়েস ইয়েস আই ফলো আই ট্রাই টু অ্যাসিস্ট দা কোর ইফ এনি ডকুমেন্ট ইজ अवेलेबल মানে আই উইল আই উইল সারটেনলি আই উইল গেট কত চলছে As a result, the order dated 19th January 2010 passed by the additional district inspector of school is quashed. District inspector of school is directed to grant hard scale of pay. In favor of the petitioner from the last date of uh, MA examination from 6 May 2005 and release all areas of salary and other admissible dues in favor of the petitioner within a period of eight weeks from the date of receipt of a copy of this order. Extremely good. Huh? the pendency of the writ application he retired from the service so so pay scale is required to be revised pension payment order is required to be made only one line is required to be added. to a further direction required to release all the retired benefit all the in revised scale of pay because they are they are giving the graduate scale of pay in in they are they may be directed to release the terminal benefit after issuing revising pension payment order in the postgraduate scale of pay. Only one line order is Great. Not disposable. Great. Extremely good. Number three, Mr. Mitro is appearing for the petition and Mr. Ponto Debro is appearing for the state. Both are engaged in the same courtroom. My Lord, short password. Kindly feel Lord should put grant. Shami Mulwadi is also appearing for the state. Both are engaged in the country. Okay, possible. Sado engaged actually. Mr. Badi is also appearing for the state. Yes. Mr. Shami Mulwadi is also appearing for the state. He is also on his legs. Yes, he is also engaged. You are currently praying for a short pass over. Okay. 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 Great. My Lord, I appear on behalf of the petitioner. Uh, my Lord, there is a difficult. There are two sets of difficulties uh, which I will explain to you, uh, uh, and I will pray for a short time. One is about on the previous occasion, uh, your Lordship had asked for uh, service um, of notice upon the non-appearing uh, respondents, and the non-appearing respondent was the bank, the Vijaya Bank, that is the respondent number four and five. My Lord, that service is still not done. Kindly allow me some time today. I will serve. hearing could continue. My Lord, I have looked at uh, the records. Uh, there are three cans, uh, th that is can 1, can 3 and can 4. Can 1, my Lord, is the old number is 318 of 2003. Yes, yes, yes. Can uh, 3 can is... Can 3, old number is there. Can yes, 9832 one, and, uh, and can 4 is 10330. Now, my Lord, I have uh, uh, I have procured with much difficulty, because it's a very old matter, uh, copies of two cans and I have understood uh, what is the content of one can. So, can 1, my Lord, that is 318 of 2003, it appears it has become infructuous because the pressure there was for cancellation of the auction and for calling of a global tender. My Lord, the auction has taken place, It's uh, so it has become infructuous. Uh, my Lord, the can 3, as far as 3 and 4 goes, 
four stands uh, uh, i will i will look i will i will place the uh, uh, the prayer uh, part of both three and four and three it appears has become partially infructuous and partially it st uh, it stands uh, my lord uh, in three can three and this is uh, 932 of 2004 uh, one by one yeah yeah okay can one of 2023 2003, my lord. Miss Sen, for the petition, has submitted that this application was prepared seeking a direction um, uh, to cancel the auction, auction and to calling for global tender. Uh, to call for global tender. Tender. Uh, we submit that with the passage of time, the auction has, uh, has been held. Uh, Stop uh, in uh, as such auction has been still as such the uh, application has become impactless. Stop uh, in view of such submission made on behalf of the Mr. Sin. Mm. Uh, the can such and such is dismissed as impactless. Ever can three of it or can three? Of it. Marad, they are they are not pressing the application, Marad. Subject to lot dismissed as as in fact on the basis of such submission. We would have it loved is to, their application. We would have I loved mean. to place it, my lord, twenty years back. Okay, okay, yeah, two thousand. Uh, my lord, uh, next. The, the next is can three. Uh, that is my lord uh, uh, nine eight three two. Uh, my lord, the the prayers were and subject to being corrected by your lordship. The, the prayers were twofold. First was a stay on all attempts or steps of the respondents number one to six from taking any further action as per the auction held in on 29 or selling hotel chancellor and any movable assets till further order uh, from this honorable court or till decision of the instant application. My Lord, further action means sale. The sale has been effected in 2007 and the, and the buyer is represented here as well. So partially, this prayer has again become infructuous, my lord, with the passage of time. Uh, and this is, is, uh, one is not to take any action on the basis of the auction. auction and not to sell. Yes. And not to so, sell. They have taken auction, even so, they have sold it. Sold and, that is, and so that can be tackled at, uh, at the stage of hearing because that it is. It is a matter of main. main indeed, uh, indeed, indeed, my lord. And the second, so it is also infectious. Uh, partially, this part is infructuous. The second part, my lord, uh, is that, uh, and this is, uh, uh, I'm still trying to understand whether this part is becoming uh, yes, infectious yes. or not. An advocate of this honorable court may kindly be appointed for ascertaining whether the assets of the hotel chancellor situated at such and such are still in existence or stolen or sold out during the pendency of the instant writ application. I think, my lord, this is not infructuous. This can still be ascertained very much. My lord, this prayer was heard before Honorable Justice Pratap Rai, my lord. Uh, there is no order, my lord. My it's, saying, painting. it's showing us painting. No, 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 no. This, this, <laughs> part, this same prayer, they are repeating in diverse applications, my lord. My lord, what happened when the respondent number seven was added, by this honorable court, then they had heard an application. And that application includes this prayer. And that prayer was rejected. I will show you a lot to kindly give us some opportunity to filing our affidavit in opposition as to their my lord, my lord, my if under, lordship give my us the uh, there is already affidavit in opposition has been filed. No, 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 no. My lord, not this, the, this, this respect of this application. No, no, no. My no. lord, there is a combined combined opposition, affidavit in opposition. And uh, and and combined reply as well filed in respect of can number nine eight three two of two thousand and four can number one zero three three zero of two thousand and four and can number one zero five six seven of two thousand and four which means these are can three can four and can five can five has been disposed of and can three and can four I have copy of the both combined uh, opposition and combined reply uh, my lord they have filed that they have filed. So they have filed a combined uh, opposition and we filed a combined reply in response. My Lord, and can four was uh, filed for what purpose? Can four, I'm coming to can four now, my Lord. Can four, uh, th this is, can four still stands very much because can four, it appears that uh, there was, I'm, I'm placing the pr prayer first, my Lord, the interim order passed by the Honorable Justice Shomitra Pal on 39, 2004, 
इन डब्ल्यू पी नंबर वन सेवन वन थ्री फाइव डब्ल्यू ऑफ टू थाउजेंड एंड टू में काइंडली बी रिकॉल्ड और मॉडिफाइड टू दी एक्सटेंड दैट दी इंट्रीम ऑर्डर पास ऑन ट्वेंटी एट इलेवन टू थाउजेंड एंड टू पास इन रिपिटिशन नंबर वन सेवन वन थ्री फाइव of 2002 by this honorable court may kindly be continued for the ends of justice till decision of the instant writ application and the instant writ application may kindly be heard on merit my lord the reason for this is that um, this you may uh, if your lordship has a copy of can 4 uh, before you was that there was erroneous submission made uh, and this order was passed by way of a misrepresentation i do not want to go whether that was a deliberate misrepresentation or not i don't want to ca cast any aspersions my lord on the learned colleague but there was a misrepresentation the order was wrested out of this honorable court uh, by way of a misrepresentation or an error because the petitioner on that day that the appearance was recorded by the same learned advocate uh, on behalf of no, the no, petitioner that was the, well, that is the recording as, mistake man that is a minor as, mistake as well as the response now what interim order was passed the interim order my uh, my lord was about maintaining a status my lord may I, may i place the interim order because i i think it will clarify a lot of things uh, the interim order Uh, which was passed on twenty eight eleven two thousand and two, and this is to be uh, ascertained. Uh, this is to be found out, my lord, in para two um, of the uh, petition, and this is annexed. Twenty eight eleven. This is uh, uh, this is twenty eight eleven two thousand and two. Yes. Supplementary affidavit filed into court today be kept with the record in W P. Four nine six one W of two thousand and two filed by the petitioners here in the court disposed of the said matter by an order dated three four two thousand and two. Authorities were directed to proceed in the matter of sale of the property after having a proper valuation. It was further observed that it is desirable that the sale will be effected to the highest bidder. It was also made clear that if the petitioner so desires, the petitioner will be at liberty to take part in the said bid uh, or tender. According to respond is the sale notice has been published having due regard to the said order of court dated three four two thousand and two and tomorrow that is twenty nine eleven two thousand and two is the date for opening the tenders. In such view of the matter, I am not inclined to stall the sale. However, any finalization made by the petitioner with regard to the sale of the properties in question shall be subject to and abide by such other or further orders that may be. Passed on this application or the final result of the writ application as the case may be. Liberty is granted to the to the respondents to file affidavit in opposition, etc. Now, my lord, but this, no affidavit in opposition was filed. There was filed. I already mentioned this. There is a let me see. Let me see. This the is part. this is order of no violation. Sale has been made. Now, can four was filed on behalf of the petitioner. Can four was filed on behalf all or the can four as well as can three all 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 have been passed yeah. filed on behalf of the petitioner. Now my lord, the what happens is, uh, while the while this order was alive, uh, in uh, on uh thirteen the on thirteen nine two thousand and four, uh there was an interim order, in the absence of the of the peti of the petitioner and the interim order records. The name of the petitioner's learned advocate, I believe, mean, name of the respondent's learned advocate, as the advocate, learned advocate. This is to be found in page six of the main petition, along, and it is also available in the annexure, my lord. Uh, and what happens further is that so the the petition the petitioner goes unrepresented, and this order. Uh, that, uh, so, the, so therefore, there was a there was a prayer for recalling or modification of this order on that date. So the the final prayer. So so this was the first prayer. So this prayer very much stands because this has not been uh, this has not been disposed of. The second prayer, my lord, is that the respondents be directed not to hand over the assets and properties, including hotel chancellor, to any third party other than the petitioners, and if handed over, not to take any further steps for processing of handing over of the hotel chancellor and the respondents be directed to maintain status quo as on fourteen twelve two thousand and four until further order from this honourable court. This was the second. Subject to being corrected by your lordship. My understanding is that these two both stand, and the affidavits have been exchanged. So perhaps, if your lordship could fix a short date, um, and the three and four could be heard, and sale has been complete. Sale has been complete. The auction purchaser has taken possession. The sale has been sale has been complete. 
my lord the purchaser is represented the sale has been complete in complete and utter violation of not one order but a series of directions and orders by this honorable court no the court uh, gave liberty to proceed with the sale the auction sale my lord but then there has been interim order subsequently my lord this is this is all at the, this is this is subject of the main main hearing of the main petition i will i will you know, i will explain before your lordship why i think that the sale has been there has been a fraud upon the court in the manner in which the sale has been conducted and the manner in which the uh, uh, this entire auction process has also uh, been concluded my lord let the petitioner show what is the exact fraud has committed by respondents in the in the matter Upon this that, is, that, that is that is part of let that is part of the them, hearing. I already started. Let them file a I already, the I already, I I have already placed this before your before your lordship it's on the very, previous very on the previous assertion on the, the respondent. And it is a, it is a very correct and rightful assertion. No. Subject, it is my assertion at the end of the day. You know, you are you are you are free to rebut and you are free to respond. You know, in your own time. In but that case, not I have to check my evidence. Please be clear. I have filed liberty. There has been no reserve price. A supplementary evidence be clear. Manner in which this auction has been has been conducted is is a is a complete is a complete affront to section twenty nine of the of the act of the financial act. My lord, I had already present placed before your lordship on the previous date. One minute. Today the date was fixed only for the purpose of taking decision on two applications. Court wanted to know what is the subject matter of this application. What PR was made? Whether any cause of action or any there is any requirement to keep them pending or not? That is. So can one has already been infectious? It has been dismissed. Now can three? Can three? You are saying that the partially one stands. Uh, partially infectious. And partially it stands. That uh, partially to the extent that you uh, asked. Uh, you pay, uh, for an order to maintain tata score it stands to the to, to the extent of the of, of the second prayer and that is there was a there was a uh, uh, the, 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 there was a prayer that for an a person advocate would advocate. be appointed indeed to take stock of uh, the the uh, whether the assets of the hotel chancellor uh, were still in existence or whether they have been disposed of lawfully or unlawfully that part that still stands. Now it is up to the property has been transferred and handed over long back, my lord, after the order passed by this honorable court. 2007 in the year. The order passed in the year 2005, my lord. Let us show all these things before your lordship if required by filing a supplemented evidence. Transferred in favor of uh, respondent number seven. Added respondent number seven, my lord. Added respondent number seven. Whether he has disposed of uh, the property or still no, no, no. holding he's, the he's continuing his business there, and my lord, he mortgages his property to the Union out, Bank. We have filed out a affidavit in opposition in that in year 2013, my lord. That is on record, my lord, and I don't think my learned friend petitioner has given any reply to that affidavit in opposition, my lord. My lord, I, I just showed, you know, this, uh, that we, there's a combined reply, there's a combined opposition. I'm happy and willing to make a copy of this and share with the learned call, my learned colleagues as well. Ajayba, can three tell you? So can three, uh, oh, sorry, is this to stop giving you liberty the if, if situation so demands, you can find any application seeking appointment of receiver or anything like that? I, that is, that is, that huh? is, that is oh, absolutely. Yeah. Achha, can three. Can't see us. Miss Sin, the submits that can he was taken out seeking an uh, intimate order upon the respondent not to take action on the basis of the eight ox on sale. Is it correct not to take action not on the basis action. of the auction not sale? To and 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 uh, no, auction. Uh, my lord, I'm just reading this out. Uh, state uh, stay all attempts steps of the respondents number one to six from taking any further action as per the auction held on 29 November for selling hotel chancellor and any movable assets till further order from this honorable court or till decision of the instant application. This is the first prayer. And the second prayer, my lord, is an advocate of this honorable court may kindly be appointed for ascertaining 
whether the assets of the hotel chancellor situated at such and such are still in existence or stolen or sold out during the pendency of the instant writ application. Are you prepared? Uh, Keep on on the basis of the option sale and, sure. and with a further prayer to appoint one learned advocate to ascertain the fact as to whether the sale uh, hotel still exists or the same as or any property movable or uh, any property any movable property uh, has been stolen from the said hotel from the subject hotel and as to whether as to uh, whether they have been either existence or stolen or sold out during the pendency. Stop. Subject hotel and as to whether as to whether ticket. Whether the steel exists or any movable property has been stolen and sold out from the said from the subject hotel. Stop. Facts remains that during pendency of this petition, the auction sale was held, and even the property was handed over to the auction purchaser. An auction purchaser has been added to the petition as respondent number seven, who is being represented by one learned advocate of this court. In view of this fact, the can see also. Uh, disposed of mm. without any order. However, liberty is given to the petitioner to renew the prayer for appointment of uh, any receiver or any special officer if situation so demands. In accordance, uh, is accordance with law. If situation so demands are again. Mother, now, property was handed over, madam. Madam, but the conveyance was made after passing of the order by the uh, addition of uh, the conveyance was made after passing of the order for addition of party. Respondent number sub. The property was handed over when there is no interim injunction and something like that. Only thing was the sale will be uh, abided by the result of the repetition. That is the equitable principle. My Lord, this point. have renovated the property, my Lord. My Lord. They mortgage the property. But auction purchaser after but that this liberty is this has become liberty is always in because we have liberty means against the then what is the property my lord son will go on my lord there was my lord I I I gave for I they stepped over the matter for a long year from 2005 and this is 2024 month if situation so demands in accordance with law Takarta and if law so permits my lord my law so permits my because okay, Lord, we have renovated yes. the property, my lord. My lord th that is that is immaterial, my lord. If situation so demands and it law so permits, uh, it law so permits to do so, law so permits that it fixes to do so. You can stop now. Can port can port now come to can. <laughs> Yeah, uh, whether you have any objection or not? Um, no, no my lord, uh, uh, no as such. <laughs> Actually, now, uh, according to law, in the eye of law, the property is of the private respect. My, my, my lord, my lord, just I have, I have, my lord, subject again, subject to being corrected by your lordship. Uh, my only fear is that if my uh, my assets exist. In that property, and it, it and it is a question. It is a contentious issue whether the assets belong has been lawfully transmitted, transferred or not. If there is a uh, if if there is a sale or if there is if there is an otherwise disposal of those assets without my knowledge, against my will, against my intent, then it, uh, my lord, everything is uh, frustrated. So if there can be some protection as to that, if your lordship can carve that out in the when the petitioner did, did not oppose the sale. The sale. Date of the sale shall be Allowed. subject to the result of the repetition. Yes. That protection has been given. My lord, my lord, protection has been given, but there has been constantly there has there, there are there are several violations, you know, one after the other. So it is impossible to that imagine some sure. sort of a bona fide. That only you can get only that protection, except this uh, lord, one thing whether the sale was correct or not. 
your only claim that without fixing the reserve price sell was held it is I your know. only only my lord that is the that is the that is the primary that is my primary my that lord. is not my, my lord my, my lord that is my primary argument but i have some ancillary submissions oh, and okay, rest okay it would be my lord, that thing, my lord. Uh, name of the company that is petition of 2 years already been struck up from the role of the registrar of companies my lord way back in 2030 That is, I have annexed the document. This is two thousand and two, my lord. Whether that does same will validate the sale, my lord, and uh, no, render the. After, after that is the. He he is telling about the data of company. 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 Data Uh, tell about uh, can four, my lord. The can four. Can four uh, stands is my understanding because the this is about uh, this is about um, uh, the mo modification or recalling of the interim order passed by Justice Shomitra Pal on thirteen nine two thousand and two thousand and four, uh, uh, and uh, uh, in 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 this instant repetition. Mm. And the second. Uh, What uh, was the interim order? The interim order, my lord. I had. Man, it is that page seventy-eight, my lord, of the application. The annexure, <coughs> my lord, annexure the ori the original the original order which was sought to be modified. The original order is uh, part of annexure um, uh, P nineteen, page twelve. Uh, this was passed you by. Tell what was the interim order? That interim order was the uh, uh, interim order was not to stall the sale. However, any finalization. Made by the petitioner with regard to the sale of the properties in question shall be subject to and abide by such other or further orders that may be passed on this application or the final result of the writ application as the case may be. This was the, this this was the effectively the and you sought for modification of this order. I did not seek for modification of this order. What hap happens is subsequently, my lord, on thirteen nine two thousand and four. There was an ad an adjournment. This this order reads that an adjournment is sought on behalf of the petitioners. Prayer is allowed and the and the matter to appear in the combined monthly list of November two thousand and four, etc. Let the interim order already granted will continue to thirty eleven two thousand and four. And my understanding is, in the middle of this, the 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 infractions happen. Oh, because order to portion, madam. That will give another cause of action to you, not a right to seek modification. Manu, this is this is a typographical mistake. I think. No, that to admit could be added. If you admit could be, then it is okay. Then that is a typographical error. But if you are going to say that we are going to fraud, how do we know? Why is the interim order extended? If we are going to fraud, then the interim order is going to be extended. If we are going to fraud, then the interim order is going to be extended. If we are going to fraud, then the interim order is going to be extended. If we are going to fraud, then the interim order is going to be extended. If we are going to fraud, then the interim order is going to be extended. If we are going to fraud, then the interim order is रिजन बींगेज ऑफ दिस the infractions in the nature of the auction you know the sale being con continued unabated without sticking to the uh, the intent and purpose of the original order by justice uh, shomitra sen that that is another you could have uh, brought uh, that fact that infraction subsequent infraction by filing supplementary pdb my lord if but you but whether that this order is modified you will be our sufferer <laughs> My lord, that part of the order that any finalization made by the petitioner with regard to the sale of property in question shall be subject to you and abide by such order or further order that may be passed. My lord, I am not seeking an... or final result of the petition as the case. My lord, I am not seeking modification of that order. I am seeking modification of the subsequent order, that adjournment. Adjournment. There, there wasn't, my lord, my lord, the order, the order.
if your if your if your lordship can kindly look at the prayer portion <laughs> Yes. Thirteen nine eight order. So. Thirteen nine connection for the twenty. Madam, as per thirteen nine order, it appears there is a typographical mistake, madam. Where somebody is a uh, sort of accommodation on behalf of the political application for modification, but virtually you have. Wait for continuation of the interim order till the decision of the instant edit meeting. My my lord, we we did we do not and we did not want an modification of the original order. That is the uh, that twenty eight eleven. I think that is uh, perhaps that order twenty eight eleven two thousand and two. But what has happened is my lord subsequent can can four of two thousand four um. Uh, was virtually prepared was uh, was prepared virtually to pray for continuation of the intim order passed on 28-11-2022 till the disposal of the edit petition. So, as submitted uh, as as it is reflected from the submission made on behalf of the respective parties, that auction says has already been held and the property has been handed over to the auction purchaser during pendency of this petition. And the as has been and as observed earlier that the auction purchaser is also um, uh, has also been brought in the areas of the respondents and is participating in this selection process and the issue raised by the repetition in this repetition is not decided as yet i am of the view that till the such issue is decided and the court is seized of the matter in the interest of justice and to avoid multiplicity of proceedings or further implication in the matter because it would be opposite to direct that the intim order which was passed on 20 8-11-2022, making the fate of the auction sale making the fate making the fate of the auction sale making the fate of the making the fate of the auction sale Subject to the result of the repetition uh, is absolute and shall remain effective till the disposal of the repetition. My Lord, I, I think it has been mentioned 2022. It will be 2002. It, it was made absolute. No, no, no. The, you, uh, my Lord, I think erroneously... Uh, uh, 28 evicted. August. 28, 11, 2000. Since the court has seized of the matter, post has a duty to decide the issue so the fate of the auction sale shall be subject to the Beautiful result day. of the repetition. Indeed. Otherwise, repetition will be ineffectual. Indeed. Keep the issue alive to be decided by the court. Absolutely. Uh, the cross minor. Okay. Since you have come, court has not asked you to come. You being failed to you resolve the issue among yourself, you have come. So allow the court to decide the issue. But in the repetition, the repetition has uh, played that uh, there's, uh, there's an old red petition which is still pending. They never filed separate applications in connection to that application. They filed read one after the other. But if that be pending... On, on, the, on this issue or any 
स्पेंडिंग इन दिस कोर्ट और नॉट यू ब्रिंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट डे इट इज द सेम प्रॉपर्टी इज बीइंग ऑन द नेक्स्ट डे इफ इट इज स्पेंडिंग द रीट पिटीशन शैल बी कॉल्ड फॉर ओके एंड लेट देम शो दैट इज नॉट हु इज आस नो दैट इज नॉट हु इज आस माय लॉर्ड दैट इज दे दे मूव एक्सपर्ट ही माय लॉर्ड दे मूव इट एक्सपर्ट ही बिफोर ऑनरेबल दैट इज शैमोल सिन एज इन दैट देन वाज माय लॉर्ड डोंट फूट द कोर्ट यू आर ए ऑफिसर ऑफ द कोर्ट the pendency of another writ petition or if the another writ petition which is pending is decided by another court then there may be a conflict of decision my lord that is One my issue say yes another court will say no on the same issue obviously so why are we bring that matter that is not that is not, is not our point. that is not our application matter it Manor, is their application matter you give the number whatever whose application is matter that is the application of the writ petitioner Manor, that is, Please let me finish. Madam, that is CO number. That is paragraph thirteen of the writ petition. Madam, you will not. Madam, please. Yes, my lord. That is a paragraph thirteen. Paragraph thirteen. You have pleaded that another writ petition is CO four eight one seven. I'm trying to add paragraph thirteen. Nineteen ninety four, my lord. And my lord, at paragraph eighteen, you will not see checks the writ petition, my lord. Paragraph eighteen, the CO four eight one seven of nineteen ninety four is still pending. That is the assertion of the petitioners, my lord. If that is pending, then why they are taking out one of the after no, no, other petitioners, my lord? My lord, my lord, with all due respect, this is a complete misrepresentation of the fact. And may I submit this, my lord? Are who committed fraud on the honourable court? My lord, may I submit this that this is at the at the end of the day, my lord. Today, your lordship had asked, uh, had directed me to assist the court in understanding whether what is the status of the pending can applications, my lord. I have. i believe i have been able to do so the as far as the main all contentions contraventions assertions which germinate out of a writ petition writ petition or writ petitions but these appeared to germinate from the instant writ petition the original writ petition let that be taken up in the course of hearing and my lord i had mentioned in both the writ petition are taken up is, together my lord there is no other writ petition there is uh, one writ petition i don't know what what is so para 13 and para 18 of the writ petition your ever means made in para my para my, para my, para lord, para my lord there my lord let me let me let me uh, satisfy your lordship there have been three writ petitions in total the first writ petition this was filed hard it is in tell the number Um, uh, CO four eight one seven uh, first first one let me, let is CO four eight one seven W of nineteen ninety four C O civil order that old application number four eight one seven W of nineteen ninety four. This was filed uh, th this uh, this was filed on third April nineteen ninety four. Now my lord, there have been several interim orders uh, in this writ petition. Finally. My Lord, let me. In para eighteen, my Lord, they they are asserting that the petition is pending. अरे आमी बोलूँ ना आपने decide करना आपने बोलूँ ना बोलूँ ना बोलूँ ना. Okay, okay, para eighteen. Okay, move on. My Lord, the second writ petition is it's still pending. Para eighteen. It's not pending. This has been this this was dismissed for default. This is third November nineteen ninety eight. The writ petition was dismissed by Justice Shamul Shen owing to default since no one appeared for the petitioners. This is uh, reflected in page fourteen of uh, writ petition number three. That is this instant writ petition. Another, petition there is, is another. Eighteen, my lord. Let me place eighteen now, since he has been asking to place eighteen. I am not so fast as you are. Yeah, you said the second writ petition. The second writ petition, my lord, is. Uh, give me one moment, my lord. I, I am as confused as my. <laughs> Four councils. Uh, Read petition number two was he about a day water. That was disposed of by Honorable Justice Pinaki Chandra Ghosh as the lawsuit then was. 
Lucio 4817. No, 4817 was, was by just... That was... Uh, 4817 is still pending as far as para 18 of the read petition. Lord, that is not... I just mentioned that it was on 98. My Lord, let me place para 18 because he has been harping about para 18. Let me just set the record record correct. Para 18, the petitioner state that late, that lastly, on 3-11-1998, the above-mentioned read petitions being CO number 4817 of 94 was dismissed for default. Since none appeared for the petitioners and against the order dated 3-11-98 passed in... It is dismissed for default. Now the next, next... It passed in CO number 4817 of 94. The application being CAN number, etc. for restoration was preferred for the Honorable Court. And on 3-5% the above state matter appeared in the daily cause list of the Honorable Justice Shamulshan as his lordship then was. And the same was restored to file on 3-5-2000 by Honorable Justice Shamul uh, Kumarshan and the state matter is still pending. The petitioners state that in the meantime... The tripartite agreement was taken place on 14 day of. Uh, it is entering into the merit. That yes, is. My Lord, let, let, let that this be is dismissed for default. No, my Lord, that my is Lord, in para 18. The, the, the tail portion another of that para 18. Another repetition, another repetition number. The, four eight one, the first one is 4817. Um, uh, my Lord, this was dismissed for default. This was restored, and I will I will place this. This is part subject of the of this of this current uh, writ petition. I will place all this. This all goes into harks into the current writ petition. Uh, the second writ petition was Justice Paragraph Thirty One. My Lord, number you tell the number. Nine six one four nine six one. Co. Uh, w W P number four nine six one W of two thousand and two. This petition, my lord, was preferred against the sale notice. And this was uh, being heard by Justice Pinaki Chandra Ghosh and there was an order. Disposed of. This, disposed. Was, disposed of. this was disposed of. And the third one is this petition, my lord. Okay, this that means, uh, that means CO 4817 uh, of 94 was restored. It was restored. restored and my lord, in this current petition, we have, this has been mentioned that this was, this was restored. That mentioning will not do what the what the eight of that petition. My lord, ultimately it, that is still pending. It is still pending, but my lord, the two petitions are, are on absolutely two different cause of action. Absolutely, completely two on two different cause of action, and I will, my lord, I will, I will establish this. This is all part. Back to differ, my lord. So you place the petition, copy of the petition. My Lord, I, I can I can file uh, uh, place it via an uh, supplementary application. In course of hearing, <laughs> because uh, <laughs> okay, during course of hearing, a confusion uh, is created <laughs> on the question as whether the repetition right CO number 4817 within bracket uh, of, of 2000 of 1994 is still pending or not yes stop uh, mission uh, ultimately submit that though it was um, dismissed for default at one point of time but subsequently it was restored to its original file such submission of Mr. Sense indicates that the said petition still survives uh, uh, and is still uh, pending, is still pending. If they have left. In view thereof, uh, the mission is directed to produce uh, the information uh, in view thereof. Mr. Sen then contends, uh, contends that the said repetition was filed on a different cause of action. And my lord, if I may? As such contention was vehemently opposed by... Respondent number one, sir. By Mr. De. Stop in view thereof. Ms. Sen is directed to bring the copy of the said repetition on record by... We are filing a supplementary epidemic because on the next day hmm, to assist this court to decide as to whether 
the said repetition was filed on the self same cause of action or different cause of action or my lord i will i will i will i will do so just one clarification that we have already explained why this repetition was filed in the current petition we and we have explained that this this was on an entirely different cause of action the two sets of repetitions in fact the three sets of repetitions have been on very different of different causes of action this is a 94 petition i will try to give this record it will i will try to find that well the cause of action sir the bundle my, of rights yes, that say yes. the rights my are in common in the same my, bundle my lord my lord I, if i may if i may if i may suggest okay court also Ah. My lord, then the both can be clubbed together. That was what I was suggesting. If it is if it is pending still, then the two can be clubbed together and the both can be heard together. My lord, that is, he, he that is I am trying to my to it my, my it is in my benefit. Base. My lord, it is in my benefit. You fail to you fail to understand the same. First, there was a three can application. It is it is general. It should not be done. Keeping the application pending the main petition should not be disposed of. Indeed. Okay. First one court should decide the application filed in connected with the main, main petition. Then one by one I have disposed of or decide the application. Then the question came another petition is pending. So uh, court I, is I, I, I know. decision. My lord, I I I completely I am agree with you. I trying to enter into the merit of this. Petition. I completely, I completely opening agree. all the doors, standing I completely, in the, in I the completely, way. I completely, okay. I completely. Even the Bijaya Bank has a valid pass to first year with WBID. So, my lord, the respondent of one hearing. My lord, Bijaya Bank extended them term loan as well as bridge loan. Their OA is was pending at the time of filing the petition before DRT won Calcutta. My lord. They must appear and they Lord, must find their evidence. Your Lordship has already Don't directed. Don't try to complicate the issue only to linger the process. No, my Lord. This is no, my Lord. My Lord, that is what yeah, right. The court is called upon to uh, decide whether the auction sale is bad on the ground that the reserve price was not fixed and procedure, prescribed procedure has not been followed. This the subsequently such bank, such bank. Why you are trying to complicate this? Well, no, they were directed by your lawsuits. The, the dead uh, husband of the petitioner will also be asked to be made party. The manner in which this is going. They let, let us saw our application. Okay. At least the matter for further consideration. When you have to bring the yes requisition of CO 94. My lord, one week. Acha. One weekend. One week of bargain. Okay. Next, next, next. Hey, can you let me know? Item number five. I am for the petitioner. But, but in this petition was hey to show na. But the yes. But the fortnight time is required for the purpose of expunging the name of that read petitioner number two. But originally, Sudish Kumar Sarkar and Shipra Sarkar filed this deed application. Sudish Kumar Sarkar has been expired in his place. And his two sons, Onurak Sarkar and Parak Sarkar, has been substituted. But the Onurak Sarkar on 18th February 2024 as a suicide. But the, uh, uh, he has been expired. It is required to file an application for expunging the name uh, of the read petitioner number two. Unrak Sarkar died uh, living behind the legal heirs? No, one of the bachelor. <laughs> so bachelor means this, so here and now it, it, will, yes. be it will be expunged. One line order from the court. Manat, uh, that that may be Manat, uh, if your lordship desire to Manat, expunge the name. So the all property which belong to Unrak Sarkar now has devolved upon Parak Sarkar? No, his mother. Bachelor, bachelor, all property below devolve upon his mother, Shipra Sarkar, who already been party. His party? She's party. So? Petition number two. But, uh, and, and another thing, one of the opposition, opposition has been filed by my learned friends. The reply is required to be filed. 
during pendency of the uh, during pendency of this petition the substituted petitioner number oh. 1b 1b have has died on 18th february 2000 <laughs> and his legal heirs and or heirs are already on record <laughs> considering this fact the name let the name of substituted petitioner number 1b namely onurag sarkar be expunged from the cost title of this petition stop mr de lanet advocate press for extension of time to file a pdb in reply to the pdb in opposition file on behalf of mother number 123 this one number 123 Respondent but, number one, two, three. One, two, three. Of para. Let such affidavit in reply be filed within within two weeks. Within two weeks from date. Yeah. But I am appearing for the respondent number four, Chiliguri Jalpaiguri Development Authority. My Lord, land was given to us. My Lord, we have already filed a writ petition, affidavit in opposition, and reply has been filed. State is the answering respondent. My learned senior friend wants to file reply in connection with the affidavit filed by the state. <laughs> Uh, with copy to all, copy all to other copy. parties to this process. Please, the matter for further one clarification. Milad, there was a direction from your Lordship's court that to file an opposition, but I believe Milad, opposition has not been filed by the state. I have to file yes. saying that no, perhaps we have filed opposition by this one or four, not by the state. No, 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 no. Extension in, in respect extension. of the opposition filed by the respondent number four. Extension is required for that is correct. Mr. Samunto Lanet advocate appealing for the state response state submit a place for extension of file, extension of time to file a PDB in opposition. So able let such a PDB in opposition be filed within. See, four weeks, my lord. Within four weeks from okay. date, from a reply, if any, they have to be filed within two weeks thereafter, list the matter for further consideration. Lord, amendment, Six weeks the last occasion, my lord, your direction was there for service of amended deed petition, my lord. Kindly direct, but that has not been done, my lord. Amended deed petition. Achha, yeah. Mr. Samanto, submit that on earlier occasion, no, there was a direction <laughs> to serve, uh, there was a direction <laughs> upon the petitioner. Uh, to serve the copy of the amended petition upon the upon all the respondents. Okay. Let such copy be served uh, upon all other respondents within a week from date. Great. Great. Um, but only only one thing, my the extension of file or reply against the respondent number four, my there is there that order is there. You have not filed? No. Opposition filed by an friend, but reply has not been filed. When a reply also in reply to opposition of op respondent number four is required. Mr. Rai Mukherjee submits that uh, that the APDB in opposition on behalf of responding number four. four has already been submitted and taken on record also. And copy of the same, same has also been served upon the Lanet advocate appealing for the petition. Stop. Lanet petitioner. Lanet advocate for the uh, Mr. Dev pays for extension of um, time to file. Hmm. Uh, file this reply. Uh, uh, reply if filed. Uh, reply if any may, may be filed within the time stipulated. Uh, 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 within, within week or two weeks. Uh, within two weeks from date. Get uh, Get within two weeks from date. And yes. copy of which, uh, with a copy, uh, with a, with a copy uh, to all other. 
Hmm. So, Mr. Bari or, or Mr. Mr. Bari Bari has come. Mr. No records the court by available. My lord, no records are available. Mala save and accept a copy of the panel that my last occasion Mala time uh, submitted to your lordships only of the panel that the name of the private respondent is appearing. For the recapitulation of the fact, my lord, kindly permit me to place the fact in an answer. Hmm. Subject matter of challenge in this petition is the order impugned dated 14th of February 2008 at page 55. Where is panel? It is panel. In Mohesh Nagar Sub Health Center. Coming. Hati Sala. Hati Sala 1. Hati Sala 1. Uh, name of employment can be not available. I think a baby has a certain You submitted panel. Yes, my lord. Panel. That copy is with you. My lord. Two copies were with me, Malata. One copy uh, submitted to your lordship and another copy I've given to my friend, Malata. I think. Please, please, please. 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 Please, Mitu Ghosh, yes. Yes, ma'am. Mitu Ghosh, Rukia Khatun. Yes. Second and third. Third. Sonareka Khatun. Sonareka Khatun. So it is pe panel. Yes, ma'am. Petitioner was not in the panel itself also. You are saying you are the second independent candidate? No, no. No. My candidature has not been considered. Oh, your candidature has not been considered. Applied, but kindly. Holding that, you are... But kindly have a look to the ones my facts in an action. This is the second round of litigation. First read petition, WP 14719 of 2007. That was disposed of by His Lordship the Honorable Justice Topin Sen as His Lordship Brain was on 12th October 2007. 
with a direction upon the district with a direction upon the district magistrate nodia to consider the issue after giving opportunity of hearing to the parties hmm. thereafter my the order was passed but a notification was issued at page 35 selection process was set in motion by way of issuing the notification at page 35 annex chapter p2 Marud has got it. Page thirty-five. Ah uh, yes. Page thirty-five. Yes. Nirdesha boli. Two. Hmm. Kebol matro vivahita vidova ainga to bhave vivaho vichinna mohila partira abidan korte pare. Hmm. Parthi ke aboshoi Bharatiyo nagori kuto abe ibong parthi je sasto upokendra juno vivechito hote chan sei upokendra elakar sai basinda hote abe. फोर पार्थी के अवश्य बांग्ला तो बने पाली भाषा भालो कुरे कथा बोलते लिखते पोर्टे शक्कम होते होंगे पार्थी देर माध्यमिक उत्तीनो बार समुद्रलो मान होते होंगे आवेदन सिक्स आवेदन पत्रे संगे निम्नलिखित तो पुमान पत्रे पुत्तिक्ती पुत्ताई तो पुतुलिती जमा दी तो होंगे केवल मात्रों सरकारी आधिकारों के दारा � पायलट आवेदन पत्र जमा दिया सिस्टर्स तारीक 20 अक्टूबर 2006 शिक्षा को तो उन्नो को एट शिक्षा शिक्षा को तो उन्नानो जोगुता भित्ति ते उन्नानो जोगुता जब बाला आगे तार भित्ति ते बचाए करा होगे चुरांतो भावे बचाए करा पार्टी दे सरकारे पूर्चे दे सिक्ते होता मालूम इन इन परस्वेस टू दैट न Prescribed application form page thirty six. Page thirty six. This is very important. Date nineteenth October two thousand six. Hmm. Within the prescribed time. Nineteenth October two thousand six. Hmm. Marks secured in the Madhumik uh, examination forty eight point eight eight. Page thirty six. Yes. Forty eight point eight eight. And my lord, this is the notification. Thereafter, made representation not considered, and situation compelled the petitioner to file the writ petition at page thirty eight. The order passed in the writ petition one four seven one nine of two thousand seven. Hmm. Page 42 is the order. Abridged of service filed in court taken on record. In spite of such service of notice, there is no appearance on behalf of the private respondent number 6. In spite of notice, no one appeared. Although Mr. A. Chatterjee is present in court representing the state respondent, the grievance of the petitioner is that she was more meritorious and had scored higher marks than the private respondent six and yet the respondent number six was selected although she is not even a married person these statement have been made in paragraph eight and nine of the writ petition however at this stage learned counsel for the petitioner submits that he has filed a representation before the district master nudia he has instructions to state that his client will be fully satisfied if the said district magistrate is directed to look into them. For foregoing reasons, but without entering into the merits of the controversy, this repetition is disposed of by directing the district magistrate Nodia at Kishnagar to look into the grievance of the petitioner after giving an opportunity of hearing to both the parties as well as to the private respondent number six and then passed a reasoned order under strictly in accordance with law within a period of six weeks from the date of receipt of the order. Page 42 and 43. Thereafter, my lord, kindly have a look. 
ऑर्डर इन ट्यून petitioner again made a representation before the district magistrate order was communicated notice of hearing at page 50 and very important page 53 Page fifty-three. This is a certificate issued by the Pradhan concerned local self-government. Atishala, act number GP. At that time, Ghosuna Kora jai the chhe je Mitu Ghos, Pita Mitu Lal Mohan Ghos, Gram GP, Ghos Bado Angoliya Thana Chapra Jela Nodiya Amar Purichita. O upurok tu thi kana stay basinda. लिखित अभिजोग पत्रिकारत्र दाखिल समय परवर्ती चौदह चार दो हजार सात तारीख पर्त विवाह आज पर मिठु घोषे सामाजिक भाव विवाह This is a certificate issued by the Pradhan on 13th of February 2008. 2008. This is the certificate issued by the Pradhan. So, on the date of submission, last date of the submission of application. The private respondent was not married, and not at all a residence within Hathisala one gram panchayat, which is one of the bivahito hotei hobe, nagori hotei hobe. Even uposhastho kinde jinno bivachito hotei chan, sei upo upo kinno elakas thai basinda hotei hobe. Last date submission of form twentieth October two thousand six. So the certificate clearly speaks about the st marital status of the respondent number six, that is the Mitu Ghosh, who has been appointed illegally, not in a transparent manner. Pudha. That is the certificate issued by the Pradhan. Pradhan. Ah. Huh? Pradhan, my marriage is registered. Pradhan. Pradhan is the marriage registered. Pradhan is the marriage registered. I am going to tell you. Apna. Tell. Apni bolun sir. जस्टिसदार Result of uh, uh, appointment of the respondent number private respondent to abide by the result of the requisition. That was the first order. But kindly have a look to this order. Page starts at page fifty five. The case in brief is as follows. Petitioner Simuthi Oshita Oshima Haldar filed a writ petition being number such and such in the Honorable High Court, Calcutta, and the Honorable High Court disposed of the said writ petition on twelfth October two thousand seven. And the order of the honourable court is is as follows. Madam, I am not reading that part of the order. By directive, page fifty six, first line, directing the district master Nodi at Kishnagar to look into the grievance of the petitioner after giving an opportunity of hearing to her as well as private respondent, and then passed a reasoned order strictly in accordance with law. Any action taken, or that will be. Uh, Taken will be subject to the final result of the decision of the district magistrate. As per the order, third paragraph, as per the order of the Honorable High Court, Petitioner Oshima Haldar filed a representation dated 16th of 
October 2007 to this office and to consider and dispose of the said representation. BDO Chapra Hyde Office Order dated 31st December 2007 was directed to submit a report whether, whether petitioner Asimha Haldar submitted an application for the post of ANM to the BDO Chapra lying vacant is Mahashnagar Shavil Center under Hatishala 1 Gram Panchayat securing highest percentage of marks then other candidates expecting top place but one me too host respondent number six has been placed at the top of the panel and he was also directed to submit report whether me too host is married or not video chapra in his report wide memo dated such and such where from it appears that he did not furnish any report last but one paragraph of page 56 he did not furnish any report whether Mitu Ghos is married or not. Hard submission of the petitioner Asimha Haldar, Mitu Ghos and Bidio Chapra. On perusal and examination of the record, it appears that the petitioner Asimha Haldar could not produce any documentary evidence as regards submission of application for the post of ANM under Mahashnagar Savil Center servant shelter as claimed in her representation details. Hence, the above allegation is considered and rejected. This is the first conclusion. Inference drawn by the district magistrate. What? Asimha Haldar could not produce any documentary evidence. Kindly, I have annexed the photocopy of the application submitted. Had there been this observation or inference drawn by the district magistrate, Without considering any document, without considering, without calling for records or registered. What happened usually when a post box is placed at any place of the office, everyone comes and drops it in the post, post box. When the post box is open or box is open, thereafter the registered is maintained who applied for or who not applied for. The observation distribution. Unas lies upon only the petitioner, Unas lies upon only the petitioner that he did not furnish any document. Kindly have a look the prescribed application form that was submitted. Photocopy, kindly have a look. Page 36. Mm, I have seen. That is the photocopy. No system or procedure for acknowledgement of this application form? Yes. And they have a look. I, yes, I have it. got your point. My Lord, this is the application form. So, the inference drawn by the district matches so far the first part is concerned. Is Oh, oh, look. My Lord, it is based on no evidence. Nothing has been placed in the video, did not submit any report. Although custodian of the record is the video chapter, he did not find any report. Whether the application is found or not, whether he see applied for or not, whether Mitu Ghos is applied or Mitu Ghos is married or not, no report was submitted. Hence, the allegation is considered and rejected. That was the first rejection. Second part, petitioner Srimati Asimha Halda stated that Srimati Mitu Ghosh is not at all married, whose met notification clearly stated that the applicant should be married and illegal or legally divorced. On the above point as to whether married or not, the application of Mitu Ghosh certificate of marriage officer under section 13 dated 22nd November 2007. Kindly pause here for a moment. Last date of submission application was 20th October 2006. In terms of the notification issued by the government, 20th November 2006. Certificate issued by the marriage officer on 22nd of November 2007. Issued by the marriage, issued by such and such marriage officer and affidavit filed by Buddha Dev Haldar on 14th of February 2008 were perused. 
completely after thought. Marriage officer issued the certificate on 22nd of 11, 2007 and affidavit was issued when the order was passed. Affidavit was issued on 14th of February, 2008. The order was passed by the Honorable Court on 12th of October, 2007. 12th of October 2007, that is page 55. So, on the order of the on, uh, date of the order of the Honorable Court, nothing has been found place. Marriage officer issued the certificate 22nd November 2007. Order was passed on 14th February 2000. Uh, sorry, for, uh, order was passed on 12th October 2007. And thereafter, affidavit. On the instruction of the district magistrate, this affidavit was filed before the district magistrate on 14th of February 2008. When the hearing was held and order was passed, 14th February, page 55, 14th February 2008. On the date of hearing, affidavit was executed. And during the course of hearing on 14th February 2008, that was submitted and accepted by the district magistrate. On perusal of the application filed by Mithu Ghosh, it appears she stated that she is married and also mentioned in the name of her husband, Buddha Devaldar. It also appeared from the certificate of marriage, the date of notice, date of notice, considering the date of notice, the order was passed. Date of notice, 6 November 2006. Okay, I have heard. Yes. Yes, Mr. Devaldar. It also appears from the epidemic before the, before the notary, of West Bengal. Yes, yes, I have it. I have it. All the above points let me to believe yes. that the Mitu Ghosh is a married woman. Yes, Mr. Devra. Mm. Here, my lord, three points involved in this issue. First of all, Lord Singh finally turned to page 35. This is the advertisement. Yes. Here, my lord, some criteria has to be fulfilled by the applicant. First of all, age, age so and so, then Vibhaita, Vidava, so and so, Parthika Avasri, Bharatika Avasri, Parthika Avasri, Bangla, so and so, so and certain, certain criteria was there that has to be fulfilled <coughs> at the time of submitting the application. Here, nowhere mentioned that the application has to put in the letter box or any box. Application has to deposit the office of the concern of, of officer. Nowhere mentioned lordship policy and the box or like that. And lordship policy turned to page 34, that is application, the 34 and 33, that is the application of the petitioner. There is nowhere received. Clause receive number copy. seven. Clause yes. number seven. Endorsement. No endorsement is there. Clause number seven. Tomadeva says 30. But how? Where is the endorsement? Primary point, where is the endorsement that he has submitted? He shows any endorsement, then I then Lord Sikh will proceed the matter. There is no endorsement. After thought, my lord, which is it says thereafter, my lord, sometime my lord regarding marriage certificate is concerned. He, he says that after one year. I know my lord, I know personally know my lord, sometimes my lord, including my daughter also. First marriage, thereafter the registration. Registration was done. It is not necessary that at the date of marriage, how is the, <laughs> the marriage was my lord, marriage was marriage register was. Yeah, it is not necessary. Date of marriage is the effective date. of marriage is the effective date of marriage, 17th October. What is the date of marriage? Date of marriage is 9th August 2006. 9th August 2006. March prior of last date of application. March, which is prior to application date. This is the Malad 2 title. First of all, there is no endorsement regarding. Uh, Regarding the application, who has not filed this. 
And secondly, my Lord, marriage was solemnized prior to that. Registration may be done after that. This is my Lord. <coughs> this is the criteria. And <coughs> and Mark, this is marks in and the regarding panel. marks in the Madhubik examination. Not in the panel itself. So he, he's he, he, is, he is not in the panel. So, so Practically, on. he is not in the panel. He has not made an application. This question cannot be analyzed. First of all, prove that his application is submitted properly. This is the reason order. My Lord, regarding submission of the application to speak uh, to truth, uh, expressing the, my mind that that first you did not raise this point at the time of uh, yeah, at the time when the first repetition was moved. First repetition, nothing was considered. Simply that, that, that apart, one lady, he without the making the application. Government. To he has approached the DM, highest administrative uh, authority my, of a district. My, my. Thereafter, he has approached this court without making any application. Well, we, that is the main, that is my, my question also, my lord. Who, who has, question. then my lord, at the time of the first application, my lord, there is no question of my lord, every day or like that. Some... I do not know, my lord. That that two two thousand eight or something, my lord. Uh, first application is there, my lord. There is no that that simply delegated to the district minister to take. That was case. only delegated to the district minister to to hear out his case. Well, After no. hearing, my lord, it is the finding of the district minister. So and so, so and so. This is last annex of fifty five, fifty six, and fifty six, fifty seven. Where from it appears now that you, the, have, you have taken a peculiar stand that no no uh, record is available. No, no record is available. It is, it is, it is an actual. Put in a, all it authority act... of the state in a, such a position, even the court, it, it, who will not be able to give an answer. It, it, it as to it, it is admitted it... fact. Well, I, I, I cannot deny it. Well, it is, it is ad admitted fact. Well, so the, the 2008. Well, everyone, everyone, say every judicial institution or person, you will be in dilemma. What sort of order shall be passed? The state is, say, is saying, no, yes, it is appointment was given, but no record. 2006, 2008, that is the main difficulty, sir. The main so difficulty. If the, if to determine this question, is it question of fact, not law? No, 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 question of fact. We are question the legal expert. <laughs> ah, we have not seen the fact what was actually happened. And evidence required in court of law. Court of law. Hmm. Of the person who was acquainted with yeah. the fact. Now, to whom it would be relegated? What order would be passed? You tell. That is that is correct, my lord. You give the way out to the court. Well, may I say? What can you suggest anything? Well, may I submit one thing? Subject to Lord Sibala. You said. So, well, entire papers, I think, my lord, who has. The private respondent. Selected candidate. He's a selected candidate. He is not coming. He did not appear. He did not choose uh, to appear. He is because... not coming. It is not a criminal matter. No, no, no. I shall issue a, a warrant and bring No, no, I don't bring I, I don't know. Do, do. yeah. Lord Sipelli, again, relegated, relegated, relegation. Yes. So, uh, unless Lord Sipelli relegated the matter and direct the response numbers to, Private respondent, hard, along with the petitioner. And stating all the points raised by Mr. Mitchell right now, that has to be decided first. Otherwise, there is no other. So it would be relegated to tell. <laughs> in this regard, law is well settled. In the year 1984, KI part. Post decisional hearing is bad. Eh? Post decisional hearing is not sustainable in the eye of law. But when the authority, so, when, what, 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 when the decision has done, there is a judgment of 1998, most probably 1998 of this court. That's relegation who did not, will not yield any fruitful result. It fruitful does not, result. because there is a tendency of the administration that to up, uphold the same order which was passed earlier. Yes. There is a tendency always. Delegate, what order was passed, it would be again 
a seal would be given that yes it here is main, decided. here main part primary part is there below application application was not submitted that is the main difficulty that is the main difficulty but direct the district magistrate to produce all records at least oh, record is not record is available, available. Not, at least the registrar maintained in the office of the bdo that is not there yeah. must be one register I found mr bari i found subsequently you see they have yeah all the staff of bdo office has put their signature stating record. no record is available no record all the all the no staff then by when yes yes you you see all the all the staffs of the video of all the staff puts they have said that record is not available my lord difficulty is this to deprive a woman to deprive not a that in a motivated manner, Mr. not Mr. in a transparent Mr. manner. Mr. Mitro, law always based in, 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 on facts. Unless the any specific answer regarding a question of fact comes, the law will not be able to uh, come into play. Here a question, two question of fact, not question of law. Whether you submitted application or not, and whether Mitu Ghosh was married before the date of submission of the application. Both are questions of fact. But kindly have but a look. It is not real. But kindly have a look. Considering the submission and epidemic, not considering the application filed by the Mitu Ghosh, the district master passed the order. Application Selection process was set in motion in the year 2006. When the order was passed by the district magistrate on 14th of February 2008. Passed oh, to this order. Please. Sorry, sorry. On that very day, video did not file, did not produce any record before the district magistrate. Whether the action taken or decision taken by the district magistrate only Relying the document or regarding marriage certificate, the order, the justified, the district matter justified the appointment of the uh, respondent number six. Kindly have a look, only one paragraph. So another aspect. Another aspect, question of law. Co question of law, question of fact, if can be decided on the basis of the documents, rich court can proceed. But if it is a question of fact depends upon the evidence, or particularly oral evidence is required, then the court is handicapped. These so, two questions, what I, I, fact. I have realized, I have, uh, I have understood. Now, now you consider the predicament of this court. My, my lord, my lord. What is that? My uh, yeah, now whether the court will declare, yes, he applied. Now, give a court is to give a declaration. Yes, she applied in my Lord. application, and she was not a married illegal woman before date of submission. That is very much apparent on the face of the record. That is very much apparent. You want inference from the court on the basis of the record had, available. Had for had paragraph of the impugned order. You want inference on the question of fact from the read court. So far, on the basis of the documents available. So far, okay. is my lord, then and aspect, and hence, hence, I was stating Mr. Debra on that day. So, in that circumstances, court will take adverse inference that civil court takes. You have failed to produce, my lord, on, so the, I'm taking adverse on the date of my lord, on the date of passing the order that is on 14 February 2008, 2008, all the records were available, certainly. All the records were available, certainly. Otherwise, the district master should not have been passed the order. And it was very much with the, within the knowledge of the district administration that a writ petition is pending before the Honorable High Court. The second writ petition, when an order was passed, that appointment of the private respondent will abide by the result of the writ petition. Why? 
I'm asking to myself, why the district administration did now, not... Will you be satisfied if the matter is again delegated to the district magistrate with a direction to revisit the issue? Bengali Prabhav is there. Nakir Budul Norun. After 16 years. After 16 years. 16. Chakri. You, you finally consider the, the illegal. of the court. The illegal. I am sympathetic to you. But you give a, a place to stand on to the court. A handle. Give a handle. But who will give the hearing? Distinct my state. There would be a general tendency on the part of the district magistrate again to say that yes, no record is available. Then, meaningless. Now, if I want to say district uh, at the district level, then since district magistrate has already uh, decided the issue, no other inferior officer should not be asked. Yes. That so, is the main if, uh, it is relegated to at the district level, it would be relegated to the district magistrate himself. Once again. Once again. Or secretary to such and such. Regarding a appointment of auxiliary nurse and midwife. Subject to my lord, kind consider let it be let this matter be relegated to the principal secretary. To unveil the truth. To unveil the truth. Or additional secretary to unveil the truth. Or to commissioner. Or to commissioner. To unveil the truth. Illegally, hey, Ill illegally it is relegated to the district magistrate again. One, to revisit the issue. Huh? Once again. I, I'm not Once again, what can be done? Question of that. But I mean, any superior officer? Any superior officer? Commissioner? Commissioner? Additional secretary? <laughs> Commissioner? <laughs> Gram Panchayat? Panchayat Department? Who is district magistrate? Okay, additional chief secretary or additional, additional secretary, 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 joint secretary of the department, department. joint secretary of the department. Uh, it would be it would be apparent joint secretary is junior to district district match. But by by virtue of the post, <laughs> oh, joint no, team, no. junior to district match. Uh, sometimes some senior uh, officer, officer has been. Yeah, he yeah, uh, given posting in district district also. District magistrate, when I is the 42 years I, old. I am living uh, but joint secretary was kindly, 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 no, kindly. Past district magistrate, thereafter, they will, he will go to secretary no. level and ultimate uh, joint secretary, then, secretary, secretary, thereafter, uh, chief secretary, additional chief then, secretary. Yeah. But only one minute, only one minute. Well. If, if the same. If, if the same order is relegated to the district magistrate, then my lord, the illegal, the person concerned who is illegally appointed. Then the court will say without being influenced by the other passed earlier by the district magistrate. That would be set aside. And he, he will take decision independent. Independent. Without being influenced by any of the order, by and one any thing, of my the lord, observation one, made in the order. And one thing. Subject to my lord kind consideration, salary of the uh, respondent Haan, number to be counted. Please talk to my Salary which so is he to... getting against the service rendered by him. Haan, he is rendering the service. Certainly, my lord. Haan. But, Haan. but Haan. illegally appointed. Illegally appointed. It is very much apparent on the face. His locus is not determined. Haan. How can he say? This present deputation was paid to question the property of the of the order passed by the district magistrate Nodia uh, on 14th February 2008 in deference to the order dated in deference to the order dated 12th October 2007 passed in WP number 14719 within back of W of 2007. Stop. The facts needs to be narrated for 
effective adjudication of this petition are that a selection process was undertaken in 2006 to fill up the post of ANM. Auxiliary nurse and midwife, midwife, a vacatable in short code in ANM. And back at close. For various sub health centers under district Nodia, under different blocks of district Nodia. 33 vacancy where vacancies were notified for the sub health centers of Chapra block. Further to such initiative, comma, an advertisement was published inviting application from the eligible and intending intending candidates for the post. Stop. The essential criteria, the essential criteria. But one of the essential criteria of that uh, for that post was that on or before submission of the date of application for the post, the candidate should have been a legally married or widow, widow or legally separated woman. So, the selection process After completion of the selection process was panel was prepared, placing the private respondent at the top of the panel. Stop. The petitioner making an application dated. Second May nineteen, uh, second May two thousand seven, to the district magistrate Nodia ventilated a given says that though the petitioner secured higher marks than than any of the participant of the selection process, but for any reason, uh, uh, for any, uh, but uh, but she could not secure the first position in the panel for any unknown reason. Despite receipt of such uh, uh, application, the gift was the same was left unattended, which prompted the petitioner to approach this court with a petition being WP number 14719 within bracket W of 2007, stop, which was disposed of by directing the distinguished Nodia. To look into the grievances of the petitioner after affording the petitioner and the first impanel candidate and to pass a reason order strictly in accordance with law 
within the within a specific time frame. So, in obedience to that order. The district magistrate Nodia, by an order dated fourteenth February two thousand eight, negated the petitioner claim. One minute, my lord. Uh, yes, yes. But the allegation made in the writ petition has not been controverted by the respondent number six, even by the state. So it is admitted fact by the respondent number private respondent. Whatever allegation made in there, no controversy. Okay, okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Negated the uh, in obedience to that order, the uh, district magistrate in India by an order dated so and so negated the petitioner's claim. Claim. A gift by that order, stop. This petition has been instituted. Stop. Mr. Mitro, learned advocate, appearing for the petitioner, submits that in the order impugned, the DM, uh, the district magistrate Nodia raised a suspicions of his own. Whether the petitioner submitted such application for the post or not, and in the same order he has declared that the past temple and candidate with the private respondent was married uh, mm -hmm. illegal. Stop. He submits that. The he actually inviting my attention to the to the statement to the observation of the district of the district magistrate to the extent that the certificate of uh, to the extent that. It appeared from the certificate of marriage that date of notice is it a year the event to invite to one is sixth eleven two thousand six. He submits that at least after a month from the date of issuance of the notice of intended marriage, the original marriage took place. Uh, registration of marriage is took place. So, the, it can never be presumed and or assumed that before issuance of notice of intended marriage, the uh, first time panel candidate, namely the Mitu host, tied the knot. Me too was uh, got married. Me too tied the knot. Tied the knot. Now this go to find out answer to this DHESC questions of fact directed the state to produce the record relating to such uh, selection process. But the state has taken a stand that the record is not available. And only a copy of the panel has been produced. A photocopy of the panel has been produced. Apart from it transpired that the three main panel was prepared for the post, placing Mitu Ghosh uh, 
রাকি রুকিয়া খাতুন এন্ড সোনারেখা খাতুন ঠিক আছে এট দ্য প্লেস অফ ফার্স্ট সেকেন্ড অ্যান্ড থার্ড পজিশন অফ দ্য প্যানেল কোটিস two questions of fact has come before this court on the basis of which the resolutions of the uh, uh, base, uh, resolution of the issue raised in this requisition stand okay so now admittedly there were there is no receiving endorsement on the application ঠিক আছে on the copy of the application as produced by on the documents as produced by the petitioner claiming to be the receipt copy of the application ঠিক আছে take into cognizance of this fact that the state did not raise this issue at the time when the first repetition being at the time of uh, at the first round of litigation say at the time of hearing of the repetition being 14719 within back at w of 2007 hmm. and this fact also not easily digestible that one common uh, lady of nodia of uh, of one remote village of nodia district will make an application but without making application for the post will make representation to the district magistrate who is the highest executive of a district and even without making application he is approach the highest temple of justice of the state to seek the redressal of his grievances mm. of our grievances mm. and here it is appear uh, and from the re record in pune it itself appears that the in spite of being so directed by the district magistrate the video did not produce any document and did not give give any answer clear answer to the questions whether mitu goes got married before submission of the application for the post or not ঠিক আছে and from the order itself it appears that the certificate of marriage uh, uh, that the date of notice mentioned in the certificate of marriage was 6/11/2006 whereas the last date for submission of that application was 20th October 2006 23rd October 2006 since these two questions of facts are involved though 
having sufficient material therein to make an inference as well as the adverse inference yet this court of is of the view that it would not be justified to abruptly jump to the conclusion on the basis of uh, uh, taking any adverse inference uh, against any of the party to these proceedings. And this court is of the view that it would be apt to relegate the issue to the district magistrate Nodia again uh, with a direction to revisit the same and to come out with a specific answer to the to aforesaid questions of fact formulated once against for convenient of the district magistrate Nodia as follows the act whether the petitioner made application for the post or not, two, whether the first impellent candidate me to post, not uh, tied the knot uh, before date of submission of the application for the post of not, thin. Whether the petitioner for securing highest mark than, uh, than all the participants are entitled or uh, uh, deserve to be appointed for the in the post or not. In the post or not. Uh, the district magistrate shall decide the issue upon after affording the opportunity of the hearing to the petitioner and to private respondents. Because, mm -hmm. Achha. and it is made clear that the district magistrate shall make decision independently without being influenced by any of the observation made in the order dated 14th February 2008. Okay. 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 Completed within two, yes. two, two months from the date of communic from the date of a receipt of the receipt of a copy of this order. Yes. Uh, yes. With this observation and order, it is a deplorable. Okay. It is a fit case to initiate proceedings against the Aring officer no? who no. fails or no. failed no. to maintain the official document. In his office. Had they are a receiving endorsement of your application, such and such. Or to have. Uh, or to have. Should have. Or had your name in the second panel, in the second place of the panel. Since my document is completely hmm. thrown away. Uh, it is a... <laughs> at that time, <laughs> you are... My one, one as you upon... Are, Mala, wana, mala, it is well settled now. One ask upon the petitioner to prove that he made application. See the Joseph, sit the whole court there. I don't know, my learned junior <laughs> was telling me that it is a fit case to refer to CID or the other police officer <laughs> for initiating police case against the Aring officer <laughs> who failed to maintain the documents in his office. Who is liable for this? Incomplete selection process, illegal selection process. Who is liable? Yeah, Taking a lot of government money the from the public exchequer. 
actually problem is that the uh, documents relating to a selection process, there is no rule when it would be destroyed. In court, we follow yeah. such yeah. rules. Yeah. Yeah. Record. Missed uh, mentioning my lord, my other side is uh, on the uh, my active lord. number. No, not in the list, my lord. It was my yeah. lord, it was my lord's uh, determined the, the, on the last. Now you are mentioning for inclusion, no, not inclusion, my lord, not inclusion. It was my lord's order that matters and appear on 26, my lord. My lord, uh, after going through the list, my lord, it finds my lord 26, my lord. The division bench will see that my that, lord. that was subsequent event, my lord. Kindly, my lord, any date after fixed, passing, it was decided that I am to sit. Uh, uh, in division bench from 25. If my lord, my other side is present, if my lord fixes on Monday or Tuesday, any day, my lord, any, any, that day, way, uh, MP, company matter, yes, my lord, any day, my lord, any day, my lord, Sebi. Sebi, 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 my lord. kindly, my lord. Court will sit. Uh, I can give assure that your mamla is that assure that your case will be. Uh, Doshi, Doshi normally sits with division bench and hardly. So, so you got to get the matter hard out from this court. No, yes, no if Monday, Tuesday, uh, when, four days are remaining. Well, if Monday, Tuesday, my lord kindly allow my lord. Yeah, now the yeah, one hearing bench is uh, is going on is full swing. Most probably Justice Chatterjee bench, Rai Chatterjee. Uh, take information from the petitioner that he has already died. Nothing remains in this matter. But none of the heirs came before me to file a substitution application. Okay. Item number seven. Died long back. Long back. Jitu Sheikh. Jitu Bonlik. Oh, so abetted? Yes. His petition abetted. Ah. And nothing remains in this matter. Okay, yeah, I'm coming. At that time, the order shall be passed. Okay, when you need be. <laughs>
Manada, before Manada. taking up the daily list, Manada, yesterday your lordship pleased to uh, make a matter CA with the Department mm -hmm. of Proceedings matter. But I prepared a short note and lordship the I was a fair short note, sir. Very good. Okay. I am for the petition, my lord. Yesterday I got information that uh, petition has already died long back. Your lord, you kindly record my submission and. Why? Why and died? A lot of long back, my lord. Mr. Banerjee, let me tell you that appealing for the petitioner submits that uh, the requisitioner died during pendency of the uh, requisition, uh, stopped and right to. Sue also does not survive. That's it. To any of its legal yet. Legal yet. To any of its legal yet. In view of such submissions made on behalf of uh, Mr. Banerjee, the repetition is declared to be dismissed as abated. Lordship, I beg to appear on behalf of the petition. Lordship, this is my affidavit of service pursuant to your Lordship's direction on the last occasion I have served. Same matter. Lordship, it's absolutely on the same point. My main challenge is to the 458th meeting. My writ petition is only confined to the challenge to the 458th meeting. Lordship has squarely held that if a, if a petitioner is eligible as per table 4, that may be awarded. I'm just seeking a direction only to that extent. Nothing more, my lord. Hey, Mr. Bondabhata. Yes. I'm not seeking for any further direction, my lord. Just that table 4 should be complied with. That if I'm eligible uh, 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 to the uh, numbers that uh, that is mentioned in table 4, let that be given. Well, he... he yeah. Acquired 55 percent. Yes, yes, or... that definitely. That He's is saying same matter. Absolutely, same, same matter. But my lord, <coughs> first of all, my lord, they have pursuant to the court's order in 2013, they have filed a supplementary affidavit. My lord, the copy that has been served upon me, and I find my lord, they have given the my lord, uh, documents of uh, my lord, the read petitioner up to read petitioner number read petitioner number 12. There are 29, 29 read petitioners. Mm -hmm. And now, in this matter, an affidavit has already been used by the commission in 2013. Your Lord, you kindly see the orders, previous orders. In this matter, the then learned advocate general appeared on behalf of the commission and affidavit is used. The NCT has been made a party pursuant to the direction of the court. And Malad in affidavit, Malad, the uh, specific point has been taken. Uh, Malad, I find Malad, they have supplied me. Malad, this, because Malad, this was a breach course that was uh, conducted by all the petitioners as as claimed. Now Malad, uh, distinguish the, the, these these courses have been Malad distinguished. The breach course that has been conducted Malad one year later. 
and one so uh, in affidavit there, there is a specific point taken that these uh, breach course mallor this is not uh, equivalent year. to a in the relevant academic year relevant academic year but mallor the uh, breach course is not mallor this uh, by breach course it cannot be a regular course it is not equivalent to a regular course but in the language the language of the mallor okay, rule says it should be a regular regular Lord, course Lordship, maybe in odl method but mallor Lordship, <laughs> Lordship, that is... in this matter, Malad, these extra Malad, Lordship, things are there. NCT that... should also be Malad, represented Lordship, in my is, humble That is all decided, Lordship. Because Malad, Lordship, NCT the, has been both fine man... Malad, it, to be prudent, but to add Malad, NCT as a party respondent, and they have been Malad, I, Lordship, I find that... from the order, previous orders, I have checked up, Malad, the, the NCT was made a party. Lordship, that Subsequent. Would... Lordship, in my humble submission, now the stand which has been taken by the commission lordship, it cannot be a different stand with this. But, Malad, with I don't know Malad, whether the, I, mean, I have Malad also, also uh, uh, Malad I pointed will... it out to, to, to my learned friend that the Malad supplementary ABDV, copy of the supplementary ABDV, it uh, consists only Malad 201 pages and Malad up to uh, petition number 12, the documents are there. But Malad, the rest of the petitioners, their documents are not there. And well, the APDV in opposition, that was a composite APDV in opposition. Malad, read petition and the supplementary APDV, both have been dealt with in the opposition filed by the Malad commission. Okay. Malad, here the specific point has been taken that Malad, since they did not disclose the documents, Malad, uh, the, the, the eligibility and the Malad entitlement was Malad, uh, denied, specifically denied. Uh, file supplementary APDV. Lordship, the supplementary affidavit is already part of the record, man. Yes, they have filed, but... Are the supplementary affidavit? No, further supplementary affidavit is not required because, Lordship, the supplementary affidavit which has been filed, it annexes all the documents. It's, Essentially, yeah. Lordship, it was again on the point that the mark sheets were not there. So each and every petitioner would have been a bulky that has already been there part of the record. I'm just checking if, if certain pages with my learned friend has po pointed out, if it is not there, I shall hand it over. But that will essentially not curtail the point of the legality, whether these people are at all entitled or not. Because Lordship has seen, there is a section A, section B, section C. So first you have to be TET qualified. Thereafter, if you qualify in TET, then your subjects up to a 60% would be taken. And thereafter, you fall under the table category, Lordship. Don't avoid the issue <laughs> that issue raised by Mr. Bondobaddai. He said in supplementary affidavit, you have annexed the document up uh, 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 to uh, number 1 to 12. 1, one to 12. Risk. You just give answer whether the documents. Yeah. I already two parts. It, it has two parts. Maybe... Let me supply it and Malad kindly also secure Malad the presence of Malad representation of the NCT because Malad NCT has been made a party. You know, kindly find who appears on behalf of NCT. Nowadays, Malad Minister Sovik Nondi. Sovik Nondi. He appears on behalf of Sovik Nondi. So give a notice to him. Lordship may direct uh, uh, that uh, I, I need to support up, uh, the service upon uh, Mr. Shobik Nondi and I shall hand over uh, copy because yes. it, it... let him Malad, hand over the rest, rest documents, the rest part of the OPA, supplementary ABDB. Malad, uh, NCT may be Malad, given a notice, Malad, subject to correction. Malad, and Malad, uh, uh, kindly sir, sir. give me some time, Malad, I have to take instruction uh, in this matter also. Give <laughs> <laughs> huh? service. If your service filed on behalf of the petitioner, uh, is taken on record. The court is inclined to record the note of appreciation that on being on the basis of your oral request, Mr. Bondabadda has appeared in this matter so, uh, to represent the commission. Let the uh, engagement of Mr. Bondopathai be regularized. It stop. Acha. The hard the learned advocate appearing appearing for the parties. Stop. Mr. Bondopathai raised the issue that the petitioner 
did not pursue the beast course in the relevant academic year. And for appropriate resolutions of this issue, the presence of the representative of NCT is very much required. So he informs that Mr. Sovik Nondi uh, represent NCT, NCTE. So being known this year, my lord, in view thereof, <clears throat> as uh, Mr. Uh, Roy, Lanet and Lotte appearing uh, for the petitioner is asked to serve a notice upon Mr. Nondi, Lanet and Lotte, who usually appears on behalf of NCT. Giving an intimation that the matter shall be taken up for hearing on 23rd, 23rd April. Malad, uh, Malad, give me some time because Malad, since this in this matter, affidavit have been used. Malad, I find from the Malad, the orders and Malad, the affidavit in opposition, it has, has been, had been a high stake matter. That's why Malad, Mr. The Lalit Advocate General was in case. Point of law. <laughs> point of law, Malad. No, Malad. Kindly, give, kindly give me, Malad, the, uh, one week one week been... time. One, let me take instruction. If, after instruction, Malad, I, I will try, Malad, because, because Malad, since your Lordship has already Stop passed order. Sit singly up to 24. <laughs> we are running against time. <laughs> then, again, Malad, from, uh, yeah, summer running. vacation is Malad. <laughs> Ah, then again, Malad, we, we have sufficient time before summer vacation. At least I am not praying for after vacation. I am only no, praying no, for no, one week. Okay, so 24, 24. Take let, me 23rd, let us take a chance because if, if by I, then, I 24, I mean, because 24th, the issue has been decided by the, the issue has been decided. Lord and Morris, this I court have also been... passed a, a, an order on the self same issue 24. Okay. Lord Chief, may it be 23rd, Lord Chief, if I may yeah, humbly okay. request. Lord Chief, one day I do not think that my learned friend... Ah, I also think is, one day... He want, he does not want to take risks. He want 24 anything. Court is some of... Normal are, is interrupted. My Lord, then we, are, you will be, we are always faced with some insurance. <laughs> Your lordship will be sitting in the division bench on 24th. 25th. 25th. Pripon Havana, Pripon Havana, the Chinta wish. 24th. 24th. So come on, that thing. I yes. suppose uh, we'll be able to assist my lord to dispose of the matter on yes, 24th. Yes, yes. Uh, yes, yes. I will take specific instruction if my lord thinks. Because there, uh, uh, lordship, I'll be candid. Lordship, what has happened is in the meantime, there, there may be some applicants who are who de, who may not have even qualified for the subjects. So I'm just seeking a direction that if the petitioners qualify, they should be awarded as per table four. Nothing more. I'm not seeking a specific direction also, madam. If they qualify, they should be given as per table four, which has already been held by after the. After I mind, after I mind, not uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. prima facie view, yeah, prima facie order. He find. You find whether such and such. Ah, you are relegating the yeah, duty to find out whether they applied the qualified or marked. Lord Chief, on the last occasion, Lord Chief, with, res uh, with respect to the honest candidate, Lord Chief has anyways relegated us before th the concerned authority. One but issue. Uh, on the only At least whether the uh, honors candidate. Honor candidate Here also up to, up to 12, I have found one. Uh, up to 12. He will supply me the other documents, then I will check up. <laughs> and my lord, since my lord, in this matter, affidavit has been filed and specific uh, denial and my lord, points have been taken, taken in the affidavit. I will place it before your lordship, then your, your lordship will deal with it. You also yes. try to find out. I'm grateful, my lord. Yes, I'm grateful. I'm grateful. It is that matter, my lord, what do you mean by this matter is relating to Pertaining to appointment of Asha, my lord, Asha Kormi. Hmm. And, Mala, and I already have submitted Mala, a let report. Let me submit. Are I already have submitted a report. Uh, so what? Of that so what? That, I, will Mala, that. I, I will place that. I will place that. It is my petitioner. Let, my don't, lord, don't, it don't is my petitioner. Let me submit, my lord. It is my, I am the petitioner. This, I am for the petitioner. Why are you shouting? 
আপনি আগে থেকে বাধা দিচ্ছেন তা কি করবো আমি বাধা দিচ্ছি না আমি জজ জজ সাহেবকে বলছি আমি বাধা দিচ্ছি না মানে রাই ক্রেবলি মলা টু রিক্যাপিচুলেট দা ম্যাটার মানে ইয়েস মলা ফাস্টলি মলা ইন শর্ট মলা কাইন্ডলি কাম টু পেজ মলা হুম আর দুটো পেজ 19 মলা মলা দিস অ্যানেক্স চ্যাট প্রুভস দ্যাট আই অ্যাম working as a person since 2026 and my lord next page my lord the bishnupur gram panchayat pradhan of the bishnupur gram panchayat also issued a certificate in favor of me that i am working as a link person and the post of asha karmi is vacant and subsequently my lord a notice was published Kindly see my page 21. What was my, my Lord saying the order? Hmm. Yes. My Lord, may I come to the my Lord next chapter? My Lord, uh, page um, nineteen. My Lord. Hmm. Page nineteen. Yes, my lord. This is the proof that I am working as a link person from 2026. And my lord, same thing has been, my lord, uh, certified by the Pradhan of the Bishnupur Gram Panchayat in the next page. And what is the next page, my lord? There is a notice. There is a notice issued by the my lord subdivisional officer of Kharagpur, my lord. Mm -hmm. And my lord, in first. I am reading the three lines. Atodara Atodara Khorakpur Mahakumar Odibashi Ter Gyatharte Pucharita Hoche Je Shongshilishto Mahakumar Antargoto Dosti Blocker Asha Kormi Shunna Padbuli Pron Kora Hoi Bhe. Shajanno Jesha Mohilara Nimna Burti Jogota Buli Aache Shishap Prati Hishabhe Asha Kormi Shunna Padhe Jannno Avedan Patro Jama Dita Pala. And my Lord, finally come my Lord, page my Lord, One, two, three, six. Six, para six, my lord. Last two lines, para six. I am reading it, para six, my lord. Echara aro unano J alaka, Jonoshankar, Gorich to Omsho, Topshali, Jatiwa, Topshali, Upojati, Shamproda, Lok, Se alaka, Asakormi, Nyogir Ketri, Okto, Shampai, Hukta, Prati, Ogadika, Dajaibe. এবং গ্রেড 1 বা গ্রেড 2 প্রাপ্তবয়স্ক দলের এই যে সদস্য প্রশিক্ষিত দায় লিং কর্মীদের ক বর্ণিত যোগ্যতা বলি সাপেক্ষে অগ্রাধিকার দেয়া হবে মাই লর্ড আই এম প্লেসিং দিস ম্যাটার মাই লর্ড বিকজ আই এম এ লিং পারসন আই এম ওয়ার্কিং এজ এ লিং পারসন সিক্স 2026 সরি মাই 2006 এন্ড অ্যাজ পার দিস নোটিফিকেশন দিস আই হ্যাভ ফুলফিল দিস and i can get the benefit uh, as a working of link person and thereafter my lord i have fill up the application in the next page my lord page 22 the total application has been my lord annexed here in but the receipt copy of my application is next page page 23 my lord and it was uh, received on 12th november 2013 but my lord, I have not issued any interview letter, my lord. In response to my application received by the concern authority. And my lord, I am 
submitted and repositioned before the subdivisional officer, but the subdivisional officer did not reply to my letter. Then I submitted a replication before the district magistrate. District magistrate also did not reply to my letter. And thereafter, Malar, I filed an application under Right to um, Information Act before the district magistrate. And district magistrate forward the same to the Bullock Medical Officer, my lord, page uh, 27, annex P7. And the Malar in reply, the BMOH, and in, uh, BMOH submitted the reply. My lord, kindly see page uh, 28, my lord. And further two, I am reading, my lord. The list of your GP and 13 number Vishnupur GP of selected and non-selected candidates, which was sent to the undersigned by video, Shabam, your name is not included in both applied candidates. And Malar, after hearing this, your lordship was satisfied. And lastly, your lordship directed the concerned uh, learner advocate to appear the subdivision officer in person. And after his prayer, your lordship considered and not to appear personally, but file a report. And my lord, they have filed the report, my lord. And I am against that report. I am filing an affidavit in exception, my lord. May I tell you one thing, my lord? This matter has been heard out. Lord, she was satisfied. That she is not entitled to. Now, after but four months, he is coming up with the reply Lord to. Lord, she has never said that. Lord, she was not satisfied against me. They took me. time. Just a minute. They took time to file a document where it is necessary <clears throat> just to allow the petitioner to have the appointment of the that particular subject, my lord. My lord, there is so many. Under such a now, report, my lord. now, lord, where, is that docu where is the document? I am. Where the lady, lady, lady. I am showing document. you. Why are you so hurry? Just wait. I let me place. Now you are coming up with the evidence in office. Let me place. That document has been annexed in the evidence in exception. Let me place. Your turn will come. Please wait, sir. Yes, sir. You proceed with it. And my lord, in this matter, my lord, initially the matter was heard by his lordship, the honorable justice, uh, Devasis Parbhupto, uh, when he was my lord. And his lordship was pleased to pass an interim order directing the concerned authority not to fill up a, that is a post to be post, a post to be vacant. My lord. Not to? One post should be vacant, my lord. And my lord, I am mean, placing this order, my lord. After prima facie consideration of the receipt issued to the petitioner on November 12, 2013, P3 at page 23 of this data application to acknowledge the application of the petitioner in the above selection process, also the communication dated August 8, 2014, issued to the petitioner by the respondent no. number 5. I am of the opinion that the petitioner has not only made out a strong prima facie case, but the balance of convenience and inconvenience is in favor of passing of an interim order to ensure that the issue involved in this matter may not be an academic issue at the time of final hearing of this read application. This respondent are directed to keep one post for which the petitioner submitted her application backend till the disposal of this read application, provided the petitioner appeared in the selection process and one vacancy in respect of concern post is still available. And my lord, I have submitted the application, but I it is my unfortunate that it did not allow me to appear in the selection process. And that is why I have come before a lordship. And my lord, against the report I have filed, the affidavit in exception, my lord, and kindly allow me to place that affidavit in exception, my lord. Malar, kindly see the report filed by the state respondent, Malar.
Well, may I read my letter? Two point two thing, two eligibility criteria. One is that the candidate is to be a resident or inhabitant of the village for which the vacancy was notified. Yes, sir. And secondly, the candidate is to be a is to be a madhyamik pass candidate. Non madhyamik. Appeared in Madhumik or past Madhumik will be given preference, but not. My Lord, kindly I am reading the notice, my Lord. Kindly see the notice. Yeah, this is the notice. Yes, sir. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. You appeared Madhumik. Yes, my lord. I have appeared Madhumik. Even later on, I have passed the Madhumik examination. You passed? Uh, yes, my lord. Later on? Later on. But at that time, I appeared, my lord. Now, regarding the first eligibility criterion, they say that you are a candidate of Jagannath Chok village. Yes. Hmm? I am coming that point. Achha. Now, they are claiming that vacancy was notified for Jagannath uh, Chok Health Center, but for Murari Chok village, Parvesh area yes. of Murari Chok village. Yes, my lord. That, that is why, my lord, I have filed the evidence exception, my lord. My first question is, my lord, if there is no vacancy, I'm asking myself, then why they will receive my application number one? Not only me, they have also received the application of other candidates. I'm placing that application, my lord, that they have received the application of Jagannath Chak village. The other card, my lord, shows that this applicant is also the resident of, uh, my lord, uh, Jagannath Chak village. Then why they have received the application if there is no vacancy? If there is no vaccine, they will not receive application number one. And number two, receive top application by a clerk for a official. Of a office will not create any vacancy. Okay, my lord, but, but they will reject that you have no vacancy. On that date, you but my lord, they vacancy. Yes, my lord. Maybe they are vacancy. Yes, my lord. Whether the vacancy was notified or not. Yes, my lord. Actually, the vacancy. Actually, lord, the not where is that notification? They have annexed, my lord. They have annexed in the affidavit, my lord, that the notification that in that notification, Jagannath Chak was not. That is not. Negative cannot be. Proved. My lord, they are placing the negative point in the affidavit, my lord. My lord, kindly see the reply. RTI reply. Negative what he is saying, my lord. Cannot be. My lord, my lord, my lord. Fact my lord, kindly. Malak, By proof of a positive. Malak, kindly see, uh, see the page. I shall not be able to prove that I have not gone to Bombay on uh, yeah, on 19. I am to prove uh, pardon on that me. I have not pardon, gone pardon Bombay, proof on me, my eyes on me. Bombay on 19 by proving that I held the court on that date. Yes, my lord, but they are claiming I'm my proving lord. A positive it, is, it is their claim. It is their claim that there was no vacancy in Jagannath Chak village. Then they have the, this is the burden no, no, on no. them. You have to prove that yes, there is a vacancy. Yes, yes the notif notified lord, vacancy. Lord, and lord, it, is lord, the, lord, it is that notification. Lord, kindly see the page 28 of the repetition. 28 of the repetition. Okay. I reply, my lord. Hmm. What is their answer, my lord? They have put this question that there, there is no place of vacancy and that is why your candidate have, have been only, placed. Only two questions. First, whether the vacancy was declared or notified for Jagannath Chok village or not. Or, you, and second point, you have given answer that even the candidate who have mm -hmm. not been able to Pass the Madhumik examination, but appear, he will be uh, treated as an eligible candidate. So, if 
it is assumed that your second point is you have pull pull. But what about the first? First one, my lord, I have no paper. They are the custodian of record. And my lord, kindly see the report, last bottom portion, my lord. Last bottom portion of the report, page uh, 8. Uh, sorry, my lord, point 8, para 8. As per the report of the video, showing in normal course of action, applicant must have been informed. No, they have, the they have submitted a report, page 17, come page 17. The report is separate uh, portion, my lord. It 17. Page 17 of the report. Of their report? Yes, my lord. My lord, in this respect, my submission is that, my lord. Vacancy position of ASA in Sobong block. Hmm. Is there any memo number, my lord? And is there any date? It is a continuation. My lord. Uh... It is a continuation of... My lord, kindly see page 12 of my evidence exception, my lord. Where mm -hmm. I have been annexed a chart issued by the subdivisional officer, my lord. Kindly see, my lord, page 12 of my evidence exception. And compare this chart, my lord. But this chart has been manufactured, my lord. No, no, here I have seen. Here, my lord, kindly the see name of the has has memo number and date. And issuing authority is the subdivisional officer, not my lord, BMOH. And this annexure has been annexed by the BMOH. You are again repeating the same thing. Vacancy of sub health center yes, okay who will submit vacancy statement vacancy is the bmoh bmoh plays the video video will place the sub, uh, sub yes. controller but yes. issuing that chart will be prepared by the subdivision officer Mullard. this document proves that if today court want to know requirement will place Mullard, BMOH. how many post of typist or how many post of clerk is vacant in any establishment, then the head of the establishment will say, and my lord, court will ask you to submit the vacancy statement. This vacancy, as for your lordship, subject to my correction, my lord, this vacancy notice has been forwarded to the BDO or subdivision officer, my lord. If that is that, why, if that is, if your lordship want to say that, uh, this has been prepared by the BOMH for the vacancy list, but that's, that is to be forwarded to the BDO or subdivision officer. Well, lastly, my submission is that my lord post is vacant. And my lord, uh, um, order interim order is also there. Judiciary is also working as a link person. Uh, let them to consider my lord, my candidate, my lord. Nothing more. How? Oh. Against what post? On that date, to say it is an escape route. Give me a face saving formula. See, not more, but consider as an order I have brought for you. You show again on, on earlier occasion, I see. Kindly see the review. You show that the Tagonnathpur village, there was a vacancy. Para 8, para 8, kindly see, my lord, on me. Para 8, of report filed by them, my lord. Kindly see the report. Kindly see the report. So many questions is arising to myself, my lord. They are saying that I am not a resident of Jagannath Chak village. That is why I have I have yes. rejected. As per the report of the BDO showing in normal course of action, applicant must have been informed through a notice board at block office, various subcenter and GP office. As the case is old, it is unable to trace the document. They have no document, my lord. Then why they say that the post was not for Jagannath Chak village? And kindly see another point, my lord. Hence, as the applicant, given. as the no applicant, point you show that there is a vacancy for Jagannath Chok. They are the custodian and manufacturer of the record, Co -co and they ready. cannot place my record. Co -co I am the applicant, then I have to place my record. Where I shall get? Court is ready to give order. You just show that there is a vacancy for Jagannath Chok. 
vacancy was there. That is why I have applied my and other can oh, other candidates also applied. Not on the basis of as But they never people. said that that only in this report, except in this report, they have never said that there was no post for Jagannath Chak village. Not in the reply, RTI reply, not in the another question. And they are also saying that they have no document. This is a old one. As the applicant is the resident of Jagannath Chak village, say, Fail to uh, fail to qualify the primary eligibility criteria that the applicant has to be the resident of the village where the vacancy of Asakormi has been declared. Number one, it is also found that the applicant has failed to produce any document relating to appearing in or passing in Madhyamika required examination. This is another primary eligibility criteria she failed to establish. And if it is point at for this point, if I have rejected, then there is a vacancy. <laughs> from their point, my lord, the coming that selection the process was undertaken to fill up the post of Asa, Asa Kormi. In different sub health centers, under 10, block, under 10 blocks of Orokpur subdivision. A notification. Um, uh, a notification dated tenth October two thousand thirteen was published, notifying some vacancies, including the vacancy for. Murari Chok Bita for the service area of Murari Chok Bitar village. Hmm. Which falls. Hmm. Within the area covered by Vishnupur Health Sub Center. The petitioner who has been working as a lead person by making an application offered the candidature for the post. Stop. The is one of the essential criteria and for the post was. that the candidate offering candidature for the post must have to be a resident and or in, mm -hmm. a, a, must have to be an inhabitant of the village for which the vacancy was notified. Stop. The petitioner who has been working as a link person for a considerable length of time, comma, offered his, her candidature for the post, but despite receipt of applications, her name was not included in the list of the candidates containing the particulars of the uh, containing the particulars of the intending <laughs> candidates for the post. Achha. By making repentation, he ventilated her grievances before the competent authority, but not, no, but to no avail. Stop. A gift thereby, comma, the petitioner was constrained to move one uh, constraint uh, 
the petitioner uh, give their right. The petitioner has been constrained to move uh, page, uh, paper this page and delete that page. So, yeah, before the repetition, hmm? I have filed the RTI application. Huh? Before filing the petition, I filed the RTI application before Achha. the DND. Annexing or uh, Archer. Stop. So the <laughs> the main issue involving the repetition was whether any vacancy for the service area of Jagannathpur village was notified or not. Jagannath Chok. Jagannathpur Chok. Jagannath Chok. The petitioner Good admittedly night. a inhabitant of Jagannath Chok village. So, <laughs> to resolve this issue in an effective manner, this court afforded opportunity to both the parties to submit document by way of filing supplementary epidemic and or report a supplementary epidemic in support of their respective claim stop pursuant there to the petitioner has filed supplementary epidemic and the state has filed a report stop from, from the documents annexed to the report it is explicit that the vacancy was notified for the service area of murari chok village and no documents has been placed by either of the parties before this court to prompt it to hold that the any vacancy was declared for the service area of Jagannath Chok village. So the petitioner, being a inhabitant of Jagannathpur village, Failed to fulfill the that eligibility criterion, and act, and as a consequence thereof, the petitioner was name was not included in the list of the candidates containing the particulars of the participant in the selection process. Stop. I find. No error or substantial miscarriage of justice. You can say uh, substantial error, between error or substantial miscarriage. Quarantine interference of this court into the matter. And you can say accordingly. The repetition is dismissed. However, this order shall not preclude the petitioner for offering her candidature uh, for the vacancy if notified for Jagannathpur village in future. Great rule to my loss. Huh? I need not to say anything. Lot of has already considered the report and passed the order. I'm great. However, this order will not preclude the petitioner to offer his candidature if any vacancy uh, is declared vacancy. or notified for the service area of Jagannath Chak village in future. Okay. Much more. This matter, Mr. Rai Mukherjee is appearing for the petitioner, Your Lordship. Hmm. The second half, you have to leave for some personal difficulty. I'm praying for not today, therefore, Your Lordship. Lord, uh, if I may, my Lord, may I, my Lord's kind leave to appear virtually. Look on it. Look on it, yes, my Lord. So, what do you want to do? My Lord, uh, today, am, I, uh, am, I, am I audible, my Lord? Uh, yes. My Lord will recall on the last occasion, last day, my Lord, I have indicated that on the in the order, my lord, of 3rd April 2023, I have mentioned that I am appearing on behalf of respondent, my lord, due to my lord, uh, wrong instructions provided to me, my lord. I have also indicated if my lord could kindly rectify, my lord, uh, make a small rectification in the order. 
আচ্ছা ঠিক আছে এরই কিন্তু ask for directions whether he is appearing for the other respondents as well because their appearance is necessary to decide the issue so therefore my lord i have i have obtained the instructions as well my lord i am not appearing on behalf of the other respondents only i am sticking to respondent number 4 my lord health institute employees cooperative credit society limited so you sir ha yes acha so ye ye to ye kon to ara ekta din ini ota so one week hence ha grateful to you acha ye secure the the uh, presence of repentity of the other respondents at uh, so the petitioner is directed to serve the notice upon the all non appearing respondents giving an intimation that the matter shall be taken up for for further consideration to exchange and file affidavit of service on the returnable date deeply obliged me lord grateful we have said this we shall do it we have said this we shall do it নাকি এটা দিন ফের করলো না
জয়ন্ত বাবু কে তেইশ সালে পিটিশনের আপিয়ার করেছিল তারপর লুকিয়ে দিয়ে মানে ভোগ করে যাবে দিদি দিদি Man. So you give them notice and come? Oh, By an order dated 28th February 2023, the court requested Mr. Soumitra Bandhavardhai and Posanto Bihari Mahata to represent the state in this case. May I give, give notice? 
and petitioner was directed to serve a copy of the petition to Mr. Mahato. Ma, I have already served, my lord. I have already served. served. Yes. Should I inform, my lord? I have uh, given notice, sir. I am keeping it on uh, Tuesday. My lord. Huh? Tuesday. I am going to notice. Sir, so, you have 23. 20. I will write it in 20. Uh, 23 to 23 man. Uh, is appearing in this matter. Subro Pokas Lai, who is better? 20? 23. Eh? 23. 23. Full to sake. Full to sake and Union of India. Eh? Uh, since he will be out of station for the coming week, uh, I'll pray my lordship to fix it on the Friday week. Friday week? Friday week. Ab Abdus Salam. You are junior to Abdus Salam. No, I'm a junior to Subra Prakash Lahiri, who is appearing in this matter. But Subra Prakash Lahiri has newly engaged by the rich petitioner. I have no instruction as regard that, my lord. He is appearing in this matter. Oh. On earlier occasion, even in the month of December 2023, Abdus Salam appeared on behalf of the petitioner. I don't know whether any subsequent development there. The the Suryavrakas Lahiri is engaged as as a counsel in this matter. Who is the advocate on record? The advocate on record is Abdus Salam. Yes, adjourn for two weeks. Yeah. Lord, item number twelve. <laughs> item number twelve, my lord. Lord, she was pleased to dismiss the matter for default. I have no, no dismissal. No, not today. Not today. Since you appeared. Since yes. you appeared, it has been adjourned for the day. Item 12. Item 12. No, that matter. I'm a bull question. 12, my lord. Yesterday it was called on. I was present. Yesterday called on. I, I stated his name that Mr. Banerjee is appearing in this matter. And uh, you are saying that petition is not appearing. Yesterday he didn't appear. Today uh, also he didn't appear. So what do you what No, do you, I, I only want my presence to be recorded, my lord. Because... Oh, I did Hmm. <laughs> 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 Today also the petitioner is unrepresented, though Mr. Banerjee Lanet advocate appearing for the uh, registrar general. High Court at Calcutta is present. You got it? Dismiss. Intim order if any stand by. It. I'm so grateful. Mm -hmm. Yes. Twenty-four. Krishna, my lord. This is from Bajaj Dhabali appearing. One, two, three, four, five applications. My lord. Is Why five application in a repetition? ST application is number seven, my lord. ST application? My lord. That is one. And other four? Other is the old one, my lord. My lord. You don't know? Yes. Who is advocate on the call? Uh, Mrs. Pampaje Dhawal. Can I short pass over, my lord? Contempt, contempt application you have. Uh, my lord. Contempt seven. application you file. What about the contempt? It has been disclosed, Doc. 
dismissed. Contempt application was dismissed. Holding that it has not, it is not contempt application is not maintainable. Metro railway, my lord, shop, shop matter, my lord. Huh? Metro rail shop matter. It is near as a shop there. And eviction notice has been given. Take proper instruction and farm. Man. Huh? Only you have to add John for two weeks. Oh, only today, only not today. Only not today. My lord. Who is your senior? My lordship, I am led by uh, advocate Shobita Roy. Uh, if he wants to. Uh, okay, not today. Bring him today. on Monday. Okay. okay, all right. My lordship. Not today. Next, next. next I know. Item 25, two applications. My lord, I am for the. Uh, I am led by Mr. Pinaki Dhol, my lord. This is a restoration application with a delay of 1787 days without 1787 any. 1787 days? Yes, my lord. Uh, Do you want any... to use epidemic? My lord, I am for the state, my lord. I know, no, I have. But... My lord, without any explanation. Have... Then... Uttered the name of Mr. Dhol, I have. We have understood, I have. My lord, uh, they are not appearing uh, today and also in several locations they are uh, praying for time. So you um, have only dismissed uh, application or read petition along with along with the connected application. Dismissed for default. In team order, if any, stand back at it. Give your name. Your senior is in court today. Yes, my lord, he is in uh, court number nine, actually. Okay. Great. Uh, item 26, Mr. Rai is appearing for the Allahabad Bank, Mr. My lord. 26, 26 I am lord. for the petition. I am praying for not this week, not this week, my lord, not today. Uh, One week's time we need. There are several applications, uh, my lord. Six. Yes. Six applications. Six. Yes, my lord. In a repetition, six applications. My lord, give me one week time, my lord. Last occasion, they had taken time, my lord. Add John for a week. Okay. Right. Uh, then it will come on the huh? next Friday, it will come. Yeah, Monday. Lord, <laughs> <laughs> I'm John obliged. For a week. Need. Yes. <laughs> Uh, you will decay in it. Ache ye corbin. Ashen, I is a good year hoi chiki. We have to hunt. Ache. Hala catch ye. Actor to us in it. Sopot administrative notice corridor.
তাহলে একটা সুন্দর বলে আমার নামের কাছে